Is is that it up there? Is is this it? I I don't know, man. We're just gonna have to find out. Whoa! Holy shit, dude! What are you doing? And I was like, I got dragged. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the beat of Funk Town. I'm scared. We're gonna start taking pictures of your feet. <laughs> like a Down syndrome unit. Wow! <laughs> 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 on the edge. On the edge. Yeah, that was. <laughs> 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 Uh, spectrum wide by Smoke bear? Smoke bear. No, they don't know what a squally is, bro. I'm gonna put a baby in you in the worst way. <laughs> I do really like this song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yada yada yada, bitch. <laughs> Game <laughs> over, man. Game <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> There's some sexual tension here. I think it'll be okay, right? I don't really care. Yeah. I mean, as long as you don't care. We'll just, this is the shwasted episode. Why not? This is the fun episode. Well, they're all fun episodes. No, I don't want any ice cream. Thank you, though. <laughs> Wes, do you want any ice cream? No, I'm okay. Sorry, I was fighting a gnat. Everybody keeps, like, asking me. They're like, you know, how's your wife doing? I did bring home cake for her today. Awesome. Yeah, somebody saved the middle piece, which had a whole bunch of, like, kiwi and, like, Blueberries and peaches on it. Yeah. Mm, peaches. Peaches. So, fuck, where was it going? Oh, everybody keeps asking about my wife, you know, and how she's doing. I just look at him like, she's fucking pregnant. Like, <laughs> she's about yeah. to pop. Like, have you been preg- pregnant before? They're like, yeah. I'm like, <clears throat> how do you think you were doing at this time? Not so good. Yeah, yeah. You're irritated. Well, also, like, what they what what do they expect you to answer that with, like, other than she's still pregnant until <laughs> the baby's born? Like, oh, how's she doing? Oh, we had an abortion. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't she like eight months pregnant? Yeah. Or even if you're like, she's deathly ill. <laughs> <laughs> like, <clears throat> what answer do they want? <laughs> Who knows? I don't know, man. I just. I just tell him that she's pregnant and ready to not be pregnant. Yeah. I mean, towards the end, that's how it always is, right? Yeah. Yeah. But you want to know like, the crazy thing is? What? Nobody ever asks about me. Nobody ever asks me how well, I'm you doing. Well, don't, you don't matter. I don't. No. Nobody. The dad <laughs> no, doesn't matter. <laughs> nobody gives a shit, man. I swear. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> literally people walking straight past me just to go to her. Oh, yeah. And then be like, oh, hey, how are you doing? Except for her mom. Her mom was the one person that, like, pulled me aside and was like, hey, how are you doing? (laughs) (laughs) I was like, I'm good. Thank you. Like, for real, thanks for asking. But, yeah, I'm doing good. But, Austin, how are you doing? Um... I'm I'm pretty good, man. I'm all right. Oh, you gave me the same answer. See, that's how I know you're lying. Okay. Work this morning was a little stressful. Uh, I got a little irritated and... Yeah, it's whatever. I got to go back tomorrow at 8 a.m., so. Yeah. Only for a few hours, so. Rough. Yep, whatever. It's bullshit. It. It's supposed to be my, you know, day off, but it's cool. I'll come in on my day off and work for a couple hours. I'm not even supposed to be here today. He was literally like, can you come in and, like, just set up? Like, do do the prep and just set up, and then you can go home? I was like, <sighs> I mean, I guess. Yeah. Fuck. It's annoying, man. Yeah. Fucking figure it out. Fuck I told him I don't want to work mornings, and then he gave me four mornings. Four morning shifts and three night shifts. They're like, oh, you don't like mornings? <laughs> two of the two of the morning shifts are doubles. Mm. Does that still count as a morning? What? If it's a double shift, one of the one half of the doubles got to be not morning anymore, right? Oh, no, yeah. I just mean like... Like, I don't like working mornings in the first place, and then you also make me work two doubles. Yeah. So it's like, technically, there's only one day where I work just in the evening. No, there's not. Mm. Yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Because I work, like, Wednesday night. I just work Wednesday night. But then Thursday and Friday, I work both those. I work doubles then. But I'm off Saturdays, so that's nice. That is nice. Except for, like, uh, 
okay, so like every other Sunday, I switch between coming in at 8 a.m. and coming in at 11. So if I come in at 11 on Sundays, I usually get out. Like he just has me help him with like some manager shit, and then I go home after that. But the dude that was supposed to come in at 8 called off. Or just didn't fucking show up. So I got woken up at 8 o'clock, 8.30 in the morning. Yeah. And I had to go to work. Was there by 9. And, like, so I'm already, like, an hour behind on what, you know, your normal shift would be on a fucking Sunday. I right. was like, if if I would have known you weren't going to come in, I would have just came in at 8 anyways and taken care of it. Because the way that like, the prep list was, like, I, like, just had just a little bit not enough time. Like, if I had another hour, I could have got all of my prep done and everything done, but because I came in an hour late for technically, you know, it, yeah, I wasn't scheduled till 11, but he calls me in. Just frustrating. Yeah, dude. Work. And then we're, <laughs> and then we're always fucking busy, so it's like, fuck. But I'm here now, so I'm happy. Yeah. I was in a really bad mood till I got out of here for all the same reasons, like. And then just dealing with stress and the kids and Crystal at home. Yeah. I'm not excited. I mean, but I am. Yeah, I was going to say, you should be in a, a healthy dose of realism. Yeah. Too, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's an experience, <laughs> especially the first like month or two with a newborn. It's like a bomb. Kind of, yeah. A life bomb <laughs> that just goes off and changes everything around you. <laughs> and it continuously goes off. <laughs> periodically and changes everything around you. It's it's more like the Big Bang, where like it you can still see the, the effects of it happening today. Like <laughs> it's, it's still ex- expanding out further and further. Dude, that's crazy. You have it, like, twice. You've got the Big Bang, like, happening (laughs) in different places at different times. Yeah, there's a multiverse happening inside my house. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And then along with your wife, who fucking Sparta kicks you into the fucking bathtub. Yeah, that's just, like, an alternate reality thing that's happening with her. Like, her sense of humor and, like, just the, the spontaneity of the dumb shit that she does to me, like... Had she, like, attacked you in any other way? I mean, earlier in the relationship, she's definitely, like, calmed down a lot. But every so often, she'll just push me off the bed in the middle of the night. (laughs) (laughs) You probably, like, roll over onto her or something. No. No, she just fucking kicks you off? She'll be up playing the Switch in bed, um, the Nintendo. and uh, I know the fucking Switch is. I'm just drunk. (laughs) (laughs) Don't take it personally. <laughs> I thought you were being like, yeah, you don't have a Switch. No, so you probably list- don't know what a Switch is. Our listeners are dumb. That's what it is. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> and to explain it for them. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> a lot of them aren't going to get it. That's- They're like, what, a Switchblade she's playing with? and Which would fit her character. But This is totally true. Yeah. Like, if I walked into your house and your wife's just sitting there with, like, a switchblade and she's just, like, fucking around with it, it would be completely normal for me. Oh, yeah. Like, I almost wouldn't be scared, but I, like, I'm, because I'm just always scared, you know? I'm always just terrified. <laughs> like, when is your wife just going to walk up behind me and just fucking snap my neck? You never know. I'm just scared constantly. She might be in the closet behind you right now. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I literally just felt like my heart drop and was like, <laughs> what if she is? You just hear like the of a blade come out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, still. oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, no, she, every so often she'll get me. Or she likes to pinch nipples real hard. Although you I like it, don't you? No, I don't. No, I don't like hard pinches. And I brought that on myself because really early in our relationship, I back when I still lived in a park place, we had a trampoline in the backyard and we were like wrestling on the trampoline. And uh, I think it was just my mom home and she was like upstairs taking a nap or something. So it, it got a little like sexually aggressive while we were wrestling on the trampoline. <laughs> 
and I uh, pulled her bra back. She was wearing like a V-neck, and I pulled her bra back and bit her nipple really hard. I didn't mean to bite it as hard as we did, as I did, but it was because we were on the trampoline, and then we kind of like bounced as I bit. And, yeah. Like, so I I broke skin, and like she's got a scar on the top of her nipple. For no me, like, shit. Biting. Yeah. No shit. Oh, you guys she... are like destined for life, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's no getting away from it, man. So now all the pinches she does are revenge for that. Oh, she hurt. Just, uh, she's, so you fucking deserve it. She's trying to hurt me, though. <laughs> <laughs> As she should. Mine was an accident. She should try and hurt you. Yeah. Well, she likes the hard pinches. I just took it too far on accident. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There was one time I slammed um, my wife's fingers in the door of the car. I was Ow. trying to be nice and, like, open the door for her and close yeah. it, but she, like, had her arm, her hand, like, oh. up on the thing, and I, like, went to go, like, slam the door and, like, yeah. slammed her fingers. And I felt so bad, dude. <laughs> I was like, oh, I just need to shoot myself in the face right now. Just... Both Crystal and I have done that to one of the kids. <laughs> I did it to Avi, and she did it to Ollie. And now we don't open our closed doors for anyone. It's just like... You do it yourself. You do it your fucking self. <laughs> Because I felt so bad. Whatever. Yeah, dude. And the tiny little baby fingers, and you slam them in a door on accident, and you're like, oh, oh I might man. as well have just like punched you in the face. I feel so bad. I like, remember my mom slamming my fingers. I think it was like a red Pontiac that she had when we lived off of Aerosmith, like yeah. by Park Place. And I'm pretty sure that she slammed my fingers in the door. This, uh,. Uh, slamming your getting your finger slammed in a door is like one of the worst things that can happen to a person without like breaking bones or something like it's the level of pain is awful the it, the gas the gas station story that reminds me um my mom swears this never happened but you know she's not here to defend herself so <laughs> <laughs> I know this happened. We were uh, she was stopping to get gas, and she had like a trailblazer or something. So I was in the back of like a, a four door uh, crossover. Okay. Um, and she's about to like stop at the pump, and I was gonna go in and get like a snack. I was like seven or eight. So she stops at a pump, and I start to get out, and then she decides that she wants to go to another pump, or maybe like the the gas was thing was on the wrong side. So. I start to get out and she starts to pull away and I'm already like stepping out of the door and I'm just holding on to like the door rocking back and forth. I'm just holding on to the handle as she like going like five miles per hour, just drives around to the next place. She didn't even realize I got out. So I was just dragged to the next pump around. No way. <laughs> yeah, dude. No way. Yeah. She says that never happened. Oh, because she didn't want to admit it. She got out and was here. like, what are you doing? And I was like, I got dragged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's technically my fault because I didn't. I thought she was stopping at that pump, though. <laughs> Maybe you didn't see that there was like another car coming or something. Yeah. I don't know what the situation. I think she was pulling around to the other side of the car. So maybe she pulled up to the wrong side. You just got dragged, man. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I got dragged. <laughs> I've been that dragged sucks. a few times. What? Yeah. Uh, so we had a friend back in high school named Sarah. Uh, shout out Sarah. Um, and she she was one of the first to get a car before all of us. Okay. So um, we were sketching through Park Place. And uh, sounds fun. Yeah, it was fun. And then we hit a pothole. Oh. Well, we're holding on to the back of this little car. Yep. Going like dead. 20, 25. You're dead. And you'd think like instinctually you would just let go, but it's actually the opposite because both me and my friend just held on for dear life. And then like we both looked at each other and then we, I saw him in his eyes, the thought that happened to me at that exact moment <laughs> where like we locked eyes and we both had the exact same realization of like, you could let go. <laughs> <laughs> so we both just let go yeah uh, i bet that one hurt it sucked yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah he was wearing shorts so he got worse than Ooh. me which that's why i always wear pants man yeah as a skater that becomes like even if it's hot that's just the rule pants, pants. yeah always always pants yeah only wearing shorts if i'm like really chilling out yeah 
But no, I'm not going to skate. I don't wear shorts. At all? I've worn shorts. I don't shorts think I've ever seen you in a pair of shorts. A handful of times in my life, and I've decided what like about in the swim past, trunks? Yeah, I went swimming recently and wore swim trunks. I don't think that counts. I want to see you in shorts, man. I, don't, I, don't, I, I feel like it's weird, because I feel like I look weird in shorts. Yeah, I don't look right in shorts. Do you go like above the knee? or Below, below? the knee. Below the knee, yeah. always below? I've gone above a few times. My knees are fucking gnarly, though. I'm starting to to switch, man. From I, I like both styles now. I like the above ne- the knee and and the below with the knee. I can't have people seeing my three knees. I mean, I, what, what, people got worse shit than that, man. Nah. What, what do you what do what do you, what do you, what do you worry about? I look I look like a fucking antelope on the right side. It's not like your face. The fucking is, backward ass leg, you know. It's not like your face is any better, okay? Oh fuck off, so. <laughs> dude! <laughs> Don't get me started. You limped into that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, turn it off. I quit. <laughs> Oh shit! Austin wants to fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I said to him? I said, "Bitch." Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, who the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, uh, I feel like this um this podcast is giving me like a god complex. Oh yeah, no, I feel it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I get it. You totally have one. <laughs> I already had somewhat of like an ego, and I just needed something to to make me stand out and to be something I could be like, yeah, I'd, you know, I do a fucking podcast, man. Yeah. <laughs> fucking better than you, man. I got a podcast. Yeah. Everybody does a podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think I'm that special. <laughs> I just like to have fun. No, and- I've I've definitely had the same, like, moments though where like i get a little in over my head when i'm looking at download numbers and stuff (laughs) yeah 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 Yeah, we got some people in california and like texas or i mean even just looking worldwide like countries keep getting added to the list of people yeah Yeah. i'm excited dude (sighs) so many things we can do with this it's crazy yeah i have so many ideas so many yeah it's just how to how to get it started it's got to be like one thing that's got to get us going. We gotta, <laughs> just got to find out what it is. We're going to do awesome, entertaining, great stuff one day. Just not right now. <laughs> no. No, this is like backyard bullshitting. Nah. We're doing good. I guess. Okay. If, if, you, if you're if you a towel. If, <laughs> what does that even mean? You want to go get high? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> That towel. If you're that specific <laughs> towel, then we're doing great. <laughs> we're doing just fine. That's what we're making this podcast just for tally. Just for tally. Have you guys heard of this podcast called Blue Skies from the Basement? <laughs> That's our intended audience. Yeah, it's tally. Yeah. Oh man, but it's people that are like tally. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, you figured out the code? No, that's the beat to Funkatown. <laughs> are you uh, saying all our listeners sound like tally potentially yes <laughs> and we have no proof I prove us no, wrong please we send have a call a, yeah send we us ha- a voicemail yeah we have a call number what is that number wes uh 614-600-2056 Ooh. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's a nice number i mean it's all right you should call it I should call it? No, not you. I'm just talking <laughs> to the fucking listeners, man. Jesus Christ. Fucking figure it out. I feel like I should call it now. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to call it and then leave you like a shitty message. I mean, if you do that, I'll get so excited because it'll pop up on my phone. <laughs> I'll see that somebody left a voicemail and then I'll be like, yay. And then it'll just be you. And then I'll be like, oh, fuck you me. dirty fucking cunt. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how come I couldn't say that before? What, cunt? Yeah. I don't know. How come you cut me off? When did I cut you off? You cunt me off. When did I cunt you off? (laughs) I I didn't cunt you off. You cut me off when we were were singing. 
or you were doing that? Oh, because it's the Assumption song. Yeah, well, but I was doing the fun version of it. No, no, the fun version is the original version because it's fun because it's the Assumption song. Yeah, but I like just assuming and then saying the, the thing that goes there. <laughs> I paused for every other single one, okay? <laughs> it just happened to be at that one that I was like, I'm going to cut you off. It's like you took an orgasm for, like, you... You're thinking way <laughs> too much into this. Way too far into I it. I was almost to the climax of the end of the <sighs> song. God, it's not even the end of the song. You it wasn't even close. It. it was not even close to uh, the end of the song. It was the end of the bit. It, mm, but you didn't know that. I could have kept going. We could have kept going. You could have. You could have let me just keep just doing my thing. But I didn't. So you had to ruin my fun. Because you're a town. Right. <laughs> hey, guys, you want to get high? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm a town now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of um, getting high and drinking, uh, Logic has this line in uh, Isis where he says, high and drunk at the same time, Call that HD vision. <laughs> and that just keeps playing over in my head all the time. That's I'm a like, funny line. I constantly have HD vision because I like to drink. So, you know, I, you know, get off work. First thing I'm going to do is have a beer and smoking and shit. So I HD vision. Yeah. I do. I agree with that. Although, it's to, like, a limit, because, like, you can kind of overdo it, and then, like, I'll be watching a show and be too drunk, and then just be like, I can't tell what's happening anymore. I disagree. How was that HD at that point? I went back to, like, 1966, <laughs> <laughs> last time I got too drunk and was watching Letterkenny. <laughs> I couldn't follow. It's black and Characters white. Characters were, like, stuttering across <laughs> the screen. <laughs> <And> like... <laughs> oh, man. Can you get onto the Hulu? No. Okay. Oh, fuck. I don't know what's going on with it, man. I think I might have to change something with it. Crystal was very upset. I, I'm very <laughs> upset about it, okay? I've been trying to figure it out. So let her know that I am in the same boat as her, that I am I highly like, upset. I was like, you fucking asshole. We don't even pay for that <laughs> shit. <laughs> You're mad that we're locked out of a Hulu account that we don't pay for. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> no, but this is what I expect from your wife. Like, I expect her to be mad. And then for me to, like, apologize to her and be like, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't, you know? don't, like, I don't, know. don't condone that behavior. <laughs> it's not that I'm trying to condone it. It's just I'm scared. I'm fucking scared, man. She's just, she should be a fucking cop because she's, she's intimidating. Oh, yeah. She'll be a good cop. <laughs> <sighs> Fuck, man. Uh, she's great. And terrifying, but great. She wears the pants in the relationship, doesn't she? Um, yeah. Why am I? Yeah, yeah. She does. <laughs> she does. <laughs> There's certain things that I've pushed back on with the kids and stuff, but normally she's just like, fuck you. <laughs> you know? So. Oh, shit. Yeah. She got mad at me because uh, I'm not going to tell this story. Never mind. That's no, too far. That's no, the one far. that I'm not going to tell on the good. podcast. All right. All right. Keep that one off. Keep that one off. It's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those ones where, like, if she does listen to it, I'm fine. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so screwed if she listens. So screwed. Yeah, don't tell that. That's one. a whole nother fight. Yeah, that don't. I tell don't that. need in my life. No. A whole bunch of can of worms that you don't want to open. A, a can of like fucking. Have you ever seen the movie Tremors? Mm mm. Oh man, see that would have okay. I I'm not gonna finish. Uh, <sighs> I feel I was denied critical need to know information. Oh, I'm sorry. You should watch Tremors, but they're giant underground worms. I didn't mean to. They're like huge. To not let you finish. It was a can of Tremors. Usually I like to let people finish first, you know. <laughs> I, I have nothing. <laughs> I'm too tired, too drunk, too high. To, <laughs> my wit is gone. I can't, I'm having trouble bouncing off. 
it's cool. It's okay, all right, man. All right, all right. I, I'll keep it going. Okay, like I said, this is what I'm good at. I like <laughs> to let other people finish first, man. Usually, I can hold off and you know let people get their shit out. No, I just I I'm upset you haven't seen Tremors, and it's not even that good of a movie. And you, it's it's probably good that you haven't seen it, but I'm upset. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize that I upset you. Yeah, I mean, you just got to fix it by watching Tremors. Heard. Heard. You all five of them. I think there's a sixth one now. Okay, now, now you might have me a little fucked up there. You're going to want to watch them after you've seen the first one, though. You can skip, like, the third one, maybe the fourth one, but watch the fifth one. No, I'm not going to skip any of them. If anything, I'm going to fucking watch it. Y'all ever seen Tremors? <laughs> fucking back me up here. Holy shit. What? Somebody's calling me. I know who it is. I I see who it is. I don't think I should I don't, I don't think I'm going to answer that one. I don't I don't know who they are, but I see it. He's a he's a special friend of mine. Oh. Special friend of mine. That could be many things. Yeah. And- yeah. Just use your imagination. No, nah, he things. pays me money to suck my dick. <laughs> He's one of those <laughs> Craigslist guys. <laughs> I found one. That's a sweet gig. Oh, here's a story about Crystal I can tell on the podcast. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Speaking <laughs> of sweet gigs on Craigslist. <laughs> we are going to start a foot Instagram channel for my wife. Are you really? Yeah, and uh, we're going to... Set gonna... up a PayPal with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to oh, set up dude. like a side hustle foot thing. And she's going to do sexy feet pic. That's genius. Yeah. So genius. Well, okay, so I was listening to your mom's house, and they had, like, a listener email in, because they were asking, like, how easy is it to do that? (laughs) So this person who just started doing it for, like, a week or two, they got, like, $80, their first, like, picture, and then they've made over $800 in a week just doing this in the first couple weeks. Babe. Babe. Hey, <laughs> babe. Um, we're gonna start taking pictures of your feet to make money. You just start doing it. My wife's just gonna just make an Instagram page and set up like a Venmo, a Cash App, and a PayPal, and then people will DM her and be like, "Hey, can I have this with like your cat in the background and picture of your feet in bed?" And then she'll just take a picture, make sure they pay her first, and then send it. Yeah. We're excited. Yeah, because you don't have to show your face or anything, man. No. Like, nobody will know who you are. Yeah, she's cool with it. <laughs> do you think I could do it? No, I got fucked up feet. Yeah, my feet are fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's just not a good... No, let's not go down that route, no. I, somebody might want them. That might be somebody's thing, you know? I hope, man. Did you know there's a whole, like, website where you could, like, rate people's feet? I mean, there's a bunch of celebrities on there, but, like, um, there's, like, uh, Instagram famous people or YouTube famous people and, like, some minor level people on there, too. You know what? I did not know this. It's called um, WikiFeet. I, I don't think that this is something I'm going to uh, get into. You could set up your own WikiFeet page. I'm, I'm good. And then set up a bunch of fake accounts and give yourself a five-star rating and then set up an Instagram account. Post a picture of your five star rating and then have people send requests for your feet pics. Make sure they pay you first, and now you've got a scam. Is that necessarily a scam? Because they know what the fuck they're doing. Well, they know what they're paying for. On the wiki feet, you don't have to show any pics of your feet. You can just show that you have a five star rating that you made with a bunch of fake accounts. They don't have to know that you have fake accounts. So then you just set up an Instagram and wait for somebody to see that you have a five-star rating and then ask for a foot pick and then be like send me 20 bucks and then you send them a foot pick what if you don't send them a foot pick well then it's even scammier because now you've got the money and but what if they end up liking your feet anyway and then they they're like i'll give you 500 dollars for this specific pose dude that'd be crazy man having to pay that much money just to fucking get off I mean, I think it's just a bunch of rich guys because, like, they'll pay for uh, used panties. Yeah. Or um, fucking. But there's why? this one where like I don't get it. I they'll don't... have you. Uh, they'll give you access to like their social media, and then you just take control and write a bunch of crazy shit about the person, and they get off on that. 
or they'll give you access to their bank account and you just drain their account and they get off on like the oh fuck this crazy slut just drained my bank account and that's like exciting for them oh give me one of those guys <laughs> or give me one of those girls i don't give a fuck man you could you could oh, i'll drain is, your bank account for you easily this is probably very easily illegal in so many ways but you could pretend to be a person <laughs> I'm not advocating for that part of this. Go out and do your foot hustle, listeners, but you could pretend to be a person. <laughs> Man. Austin's really thinking about it. I am. There. I'm thinking about this real hard, dude. I can help you because I know about a lot of that stuff. So, You think I can get more money for my butt? You're asking the wrong person. My wife would say yes. I don't even know what I'm trying to ask. Her. I haven't actually seen your butt. I've Good. just seen it while you're wearing pants. Good. And while you're wearing pants, it's hard to tell what all's there. So Yeah. It's because I don't wear like skin tight pants. Yeah. I wear kind of baggy like pants. So You gotta get pants that are like real f- fitted at the top. I do. I have some. I just don't wear them out in public because because then my ass is on like people can't handle it man and just, people start staring at it and it's just too much attention people's man. heads just start popping off yeah for <laughs> real i just i hide it you know it's it's for my wife and for my wife only so <laughs> okay one day i will see you. oh yeah got guys austin <laughs> ate i saw it happen it happened in front of me i've never seen him eat before and he'll send me pics of like I just had this meal. I don't think I've ever seen you eat. He's looking at me, he's like, has he? Yes, you have. When? Uh okay. Um I, oh, I've seen you eat pizza. Uh New Year's. Yeah. And then uh Alan's garage. Yeah. And we've eaten a, we've eaten a pizza at Toronto's together before. Yep, yeah, yes we have. Yeah. Yes we have. So you fucking it's all pizza though. It is a lot of pizza when I we swear eat it's together. All, it's all well, it's because we're usually like, it's, it's cheap and it's a bunch of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're out doing some, some, some shit. Have we talked about New Year's on the podcast? I don't think so. It's a good like reminisce story. That is a really good reminisce story. Yeah. How did that all like start? What was the original? Because I don't rem- I don't even remember how I agreed or got my grandma to agree to that. I don't think we told her everything that was going down. Well, though. we definitely didn't tell her everything that was happening. Yeah. <laughs> We I just got she, her to give us the building. Well, because we, we had skated in there before. Yeah. And so that's where it was. We were like, I think she was cool with it because we were like, we're just going to skate. She wasn't cool with it because I ended up having to like clean the floors until like five in the morning so that there was no like skate marks on the floor. Oh, shit. Yeah. But I I had fun anyway, so we kept doing it. <laughs> and I kept mopping the floors and scrubbing real hard. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, hey. Kudos to you, bud. Shit. I, I was ready man, to die for so that cause. <laughs> you do so fucking much, man. I don't do that much. Yes, you do. I, you do a lot, man. You're fucking a strong dude. For real. I, I Like, I didn't know that shit. I didn't you. know that. That's <laughs> that's like epic. Because we skate. I know I remember skating in there like a few times. So for that to happen, meaning you had to clean up. For us to even skate in there, like, that's dope as fuck, man. Thank you. I mean, I was doing it for the cause, man. Fuck yeah. (laughs) We had a fucking blast. Yeah. Had a blast. I was back when, like, the whole group was together, and we had a pretty big... You can... I mean, if you go back through our Instagram pages, you'll find pictures of what was going on back (laughs) in the day. We were a little crazy. Oh, uh, jeez. We somehow decided that and convinced my grandma that we are going to take over the the embroidery barn in Pickerington for a night on New Year's. And it just, I I brought the fridge from the back office out into the front area and just filled it with alcohol. It was literally like (laughs) when you opened the door, like it was so heavy that you just heard all these bottles start clanking around. Yeah. Like you couldn't open the fridge without without clanking them all together. It was as much beer as I could get in there as possible. (laughs) For real. (laughs) We made a bunch of weed runs beforehand and some other stuff. And oh, that other stuff was not was was that the first time? The first time was the first time we got a little out of hand. The second time was a little more laid back. Which one was uh, Lucy there? 
I think the first time. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the yeah, first time. Yeah, that was when the most people were there. Yeah. Because the second time was a little, a little more toned down, and everybody just got wasted and played cards. Yeah. Smoked. Well, when we were outside, and we were talking, and, like, yeah. about how we got into the group and everything, and, like... We we're basically group, held, and, like, a sermon. <laughs> and it went with the sun setting and everything, and, like, all of us talking. That shit was awesome. Yeah, it was amazing, and, like... It, I don't want to say life changing because because that sounds like too dramatic for what we were doing, but it was life changing. Like that moment kind of cemented the group together. Yeah, and and also like for me at least was the first time in a while where it's like I have a group that I belong to and like I feel better now. Type Same. thing. Yeah. Same. Definitely. I think. Mean, I mean, that was kind of the whole reason for starting it too. The, like having the group was because we were just a bunch of fucking crazy kids doing fun shit for us yeah going out skating and partying and just having fun but then taking care of each other so yeah because if you go down to the park every day and you develop a a close relationship to all the locals that go down there every day with you it becomes like a family mentality down there everybody's got each other's back you're like a a legend to pickerington uh in the, I'm aware of it in the way that like the dudes that when I was like eight, when I was like ten years old and I just moved to Pickerington and they just built that park and like the 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 local skater who had like funded the building of that park and got the city to do it and everything, those people were the legends to me when I was down there. So like I I get that that happens in generational cycles. It's so fucking surreal to me though that it's me. Yeah, <laughs> like, dude. I don't believe it, but I. I do love that feeling when I go down there and everybody's like, "What's up?" and you just yeah. you know everybody down there. Like yeah. I really enjoy that part of it. No, nah, see, it was even for me the like, I would meet people and they're like, "Yeah, I know who you are." I was like, oh, "Okay, cool." Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. whatever, you know who I am, but I don't know who you are. But you know, it's nice to meet you. And they're like, "Cool," and it's chill. That always blows my mind too. When yeah, some little like kid that is down there and the first time you've seen them are like, "Oh, I've heard about you." Yeah, I'm like. Oh, Really? Why? <laughs> yeah. How did you hear about me? <laughs> I swear it wasn't me. I don't call the cops. Definitely don't think that highly of myself. So <laughs> when I hear that <laughs> other people do, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> nah, you should, man. You should think a little bit more highly about yourself. <laughs> ah, I'm sure See, I should, but going I back have self shit, man. You issues. do a whole bunch of shit. You're crazy, man. I, I'm trying to do more because I feel like I'm not doing enough. And that's insane to me because I don't do shit. Well, I want to... <laughs> I want to get up early and like get shit done, but I usually sleep till I have to get up, you know. And yep. But that's just because I'm so tired. But I feel like I could train myself to get to a point where like I just have more awake time and it doesn't feel like shit, and I'm getting more done. Um, that's how I am. Sometimes I feel like I I feel better when I only get three hours of sleep rather than getting the full eight hours of sleep. Yeah, sometimes it feels that way, but it's definitely not healthy for you. But I'm going to figure out a way to balance things better because, like, there's definitely more I could be doing. Hmm. I could be doing a lot more with the podcast, too. Like, Yeah, me too. I'm just working all the time, and then when I'm not working, I'm like, I want to play CS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I can't even really play. Like, now it's gotten to the point where I have to play competitive because it won't. It won't load anything else in? No. Oh, man. No. But w- because with the competitive, it'll halfway load it in, so then it already kind of has the information. And then when I load back in the second time, it'll actually go through. But when you're doing, like, casual, it'll co- constantly be switching to a different servers and loading different maps. Yeah. So it's, it's hard to... Sometimes it'll work on Dust 2, like, casual, and I'll just be able to go in there, and I'll just play in that for a while. That way I don't have to go into a competitive match and deal with all that. But I need a better computer. Yeah. That'll help, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that'll solve your problems. All of them. Yeah. All of them. All of them. So somebody help me get a new PC, please. <laughs> <laughs> donate to the podcast first. Okay. No, can we get podcast, one donation man. and then maybe somebody can help you out with your PC? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you could hear my disappointment. You're, yeah. 
shit. You know what I'm doing right now because I'm so disappointed in you? Text to my wife how much you suck. I'm going to talk to her now. Hi, baby cake. I'm a little faggot. <laughs> and I just wanted you to know that. <laughs> and you definitely wear the pants in the relationship. Oh, she already knows that. <laughs> I don't have to tell her that. Is this podcast going to end up being like me and you just bashing each other like the whole episode? <laughs> you know? It might turn into that over time. <laughs> Like, everybody knows we're joking around, but at some point, I'm just like, yeah, go eat a dick, man. <laughs> <laughs> You'll bury yourself. Ooh. Take your mom with you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that that hurt me to say. I felt bad saying it. <laughs> I need to go take a shower now. I don't think... I think you're the last person that should bring moms into things. <laughs> <laughs> you could do the more fucked up version of that joke, like go, go no, lay down don't with your go, mom. Don't, like, don't go down that road. I'm not going down that road. Hey, we cremated her. You can't even do the joke anyway. I want to be cremated. Yeah, me too. And put into one of those little ornament things. Yeah, it seems like the less burdensome thing to do, dude. And if anything, just chuck me off a bridge, man. I'll shatter into a million pieces. Fuck it. Yeah, or you know, pour me out into an ocean or whatever. I don't care. No, I want some. I want to um, put my urn on the top of a dragster and then oh, just open the lid and then have the dragster like go down the track. Hmm. I mean, if you could do whatever you wanted to do, I would go like the Elon Musk route. Like, if you had infinite money, you could shoot just, your sh- shit into space. No, put it in a car and a rocket. No, let's take it further. Put it. <laughs> <laughs> put it inside. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> One of those like mini smart cars, the real tiny like Italian ones. Yeah, yeah. One yeah. of those tiny smart cars inside of a Tesla, and then inside of the little smart car, there's like a little RC car, and then inside of that is my ashes, and then you stick all that inside of a rocket. So it's ashes, RC car, Italian car, Tesla, Tesla. rocket, space. <laughs> like I feel like that makes you off. less closer to space. I don't give a fuck. It's all about the money. It's. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you spend to get that Italian car inside that Tesla and then shoot me into fucking space? How much money did you spend to get the RC car and the Italian car? That's probably like a few bucks, you know? Like, you can get a cheap one at <laughs> Toys R Us or Walmart or something for like 20 bucks. You just want to be a chipped off in a cheap ass RC car? Is that well, what you're telling me? You didn't ask me about the urn. I want a real life tiny little, you know, the, from the first Transformer movie, the little like. Uh, countertop radio that turns into a little alien transformer. I want my yeah. urn to be developed like that from that movie. I want tons of R&D and trillions of dollars to be put into it. <laughs> the first work, fully working radio transformer urn inspired by Michael Bay's Transformers inside of an RC car, <laughs> inside of an Italian car, inside of a Tesla, inside of a rocket, blasted off into space. Oh my god, I thought I was being extra. <laughs> you 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 take the cake there, bud. <laughs> the cake is a lie. Are you watching TV right now? The cake is yeah. <laughs> While we're podcasting, you're watching TV. It looked a little interesting. It's nailed it, man. The f- oh, it's nailed it. I don't even have my glasses on. I can't even see that far. Then Shut why up. Why were you watching it? <laughs> If you can't see it, why are you looking at it? I don't know, man. I'm sorry. Fucking, he I'm doesn't sorry. even pay attention to me anymore. I, d- I want a divorce. <laughs> can't get this man to look I at l- me. I'm literally wearing headphones. <laughs> like, I can't do anything but listen to you. You don't listen to me. <laughs> you am my wife. Fuck. <laughs> you am my wife? Is that what you said? Yeah. You am? You and. Oh, and you not you am my wife. <laughs> you am I. <laughs> I are Austin's wife. Did, did you get my message? I did. I, did. <laughs> I forget what it said. Isn't like come now. No, caveman it, grunt. <laughs> it was. It was leaving is now. <laughs> you, you head home. You head house. <laughs> like a Down syndrome, you. <laughs> <laughs> DSY, y'all. <laughs> And then, uh, and then I'm walking in, and this motherfucker texts me 
motherfucker, you know, to just walk in. As I'm walking in. Well, because you texted here. I always text here. And I'm telling you, motherfucker, you know that you can just walk in. I I said something to you the last time, so I don't want to fucking hear it. I text here to my motherfucking grandma. Like, like she's my drug dealer. I'm like, here. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, just walk in. <laughs> You're like, are you sure? You don't need to unlock anything? No, or? she's like, I already got it weighed out. Come on in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be way cooler if your grandma was who you got your weed from, man. I've occasionally gotten my weed from my boyfriend. Never feel all my. Well, I guess. But you're one of us. You're in my end of the. Let's stop giving away that information. Oh yeah, that's a good. Oh yeah, I'll bleep that out. Yeah, you should. I'm gonna bleep that out. You should definitely take all that shit. out. While we're bleeping things out, I got him. I. <laughs> so if you're wondering what all this bleeped out stuff is, it's um, <laughs> it's a weed this story. Just be a long, long <laughs> you missed a good weed story. <laughs> oh shit, I'm so sorry. On that note, I'm gonna go get a beer. Okay, I'll keep talking. I'm gonna right. vamp. Yeah, fucking vent, man. No, no not vent, vamp. Vamp? Yeah, you hear my fangs? That was a dumb dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> you even like. <laughs> Don't analyze it. Just go get your fucking beer. He's like, that was a dumb dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah. That was um, uh, a Sesame Street bit. No, no, I'm mixing that up with like. <laughs> that's the original. That's the OG. It was like a kids in the hall bit where they had um, they had a uh, like the count from Sesame be like I'm Count Blah, that was his name, and then he would go Blair after that. <laughs> that was the shit. Uh, Austin's refusing to talk even though he's back and he's kind of letting me hang myself here. Um. <laughs> I'm now physically <laughs> Are you literally gonna hang yourself <laughs> no, Get the fuck out of here dude Fuck alright I'm here damn No <laughs> No uh... <laughs> I gotta take the headphones away from you now <laughs> <laughs> I got scared I didn't know what else to talk about <laughs> It's Sunday <laughs> I don't know Sunday 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 mm. <laughs> <clears throat> your your ticket covers the whole price. But, or, or, no, <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Your ticket covers the full pr- or the full seat, but you'll only need the edge. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the fuck. Oh man, do you I, ever watch Speed TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Living I, on the edge. On the edge. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> 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 I'm not a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hurt. I can't do... Uh, the only deep voice I do is Alex Jones, as previously noted. You know the only deep voice I do. <laughs> I guess you know the only deep thing I do, too. I I don't want to give... I'm not going to answer at all, because... You probably shouldn't. I feel like it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's steer away from that one. Okay, steering away. Speaking Captain. of steering, um, <laughs> I'm watching a lot of these like racing simulators, like shit. I really want like a racing simulator, like one of the full like mechanical, yeah, s- giant half car setup. Um, maybe not like that. I mean, if I wanted to, like, I might. Once I got the setup, the sim setup that I wanted. And if I really wanted to get into it, then I would make, like, a little molding around me so it yeah. felt like a 1967 Ford Mustang. But I um, that's, like, way down the road, But I think I helped a meth head live out his, fan- his fantasy of doing exactly that over, the- <laughs> over this weekend. I went to... Please explain. <laughs> I'm not going to say who or why or where... <laughs> But I went to a party for people I know. I think I know what... You know what the party was. Okay, okay, okay. And while I was there, 
some do so on the same like house lot there's also like a car garage where they work on vehicles okay and there was sounds illegal <laughs> people pulled into the back with a pickup truck a small one not a very big like an old one okay and they were loading the back half which i guess this would make more sense for the same later thing it was the front half of a car but it was the back half of a car completely like cut in half being loaded into a tiny little pickup truck and he had me help him and he had one of those like obvious drug voices where he's I'm, you're uh, putting these gloves on <laughs> <laughs> you know one of those guys yeah i know exactly what you're talking about man you don't understand anything he said except for like the last three words yeah 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 so i put the gloves on i worked with a dude like that max and irma's <laughs> man and after a while, you start to like understand what he's saying, but for the most part, it's just jib jab. Yeah, jib jab yeah. is the exact. Yeah, yeah. And I and we was walking down the street. I, I was just hanging on the side of the road, and I just I picked up my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Good story, man. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's a great story. <laughs> Save that one. Tell it later. Put it in the box. Yeah, so I put the gloves on, and then he's <laughs> like, I'm just, I, I, you just go, and if you could, and, and, and I'm, I, I'm, lift up that side. <laughs> <laughs> so I lift up the, one of the sides, and I've got, there's another dude helping me who's, at this point, I've drank a couple beers, and I'm, I'm like, whatever, I'll help you, meth head. <laughs> so I've got a guy helping me who's also drunk. So it's two drunk guys helping a meth head load up half a car into the back of a pickup truck. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he was trying to build a racing simulator, <laughs> just cracked out. <laughs> and he's got like Clorox for some reason. And he's got like two halves of the car in his living room. He's trying to shove them together. <laughs> he's got like a 1990 laptop screen that he's trying to rig it all to. <laughs> I'm going to race. Mama, I'm going fast. <laughs> <laughs> I go fast. <laughs> That's how I should have said it. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. I hope he gets to live out his meth head fantasy. Me too. <laughs> Only because I want the same thing, except without the meth. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be in like a five hundred dollar home with half a car in your living room. <laughs> The window's boarded up. You've got no electricity, but there's <laughs> wires everywhere. Sharon, go get more meth. <laughs> I need oh to figure God. this out. I need more meth. What do these wires even go to? <laughs> Spectrum Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh. God. That's how I imagine it going down, man. I'm, I've teared up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I love meeting people who are clearly on drugs. It's my favorite <laughs> thing. It's my favorite thing. I think when you realize that somebody's clearly on drugs and you know that you're like never ever going to see them again in your life, fuck with them. Yeah, yeah. Fuck with them or just see where their story goes. Let them talk. I mean, like, don't like hurt them or do anything to like inconvenience them or anything, but like <laughs> fuck with them though. <laughs> You know? yeah, we're not like saying hold them to the ground or yeah, anything like that. Yeah, don't like beat them up because they're on drugs or something, you know. <laughs> hey, you, over there on the drugs. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Mirror. That's how you got to talk to him, man. You got like... Mirror. You over there, Mirror. Come here. Mirror. Come here. Come here. Yeah, you come here. <laughs> what? You, you got something to sit around. You like to see homos naked? You got similar. No, you like to see homos naked. No, I get it. Like That's fine. <laughs> you have similar. I'm hunting for cigarettes. No, you have similar. I'm hunting for Todd Gillette <laughs> or Pen Gillette, the magician. Come, come on, this is not I, sir, Shibba. you can't see yourself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, looking for beer. Uh, Are you homeless? You're looking for beer. Uh, okay, I got it. Sa a samurai. You saw a samurai. <laughs> what country are you from? Uh, Sabah. Somewhere? <laughs> Sabaro? 
the restaurant? The pizza place. <laughs> <laughs> Does he make that sound too? I don't know, I don't know man. I don't know anything Just anymore. Make coming up with stupid shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> you know what sounds like a great idea? D- directly inhaling through my nose <laughs> into the mic. <laughs> the listeners will love that. If everybody didn't turn off right then. Might as well. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. I did not mean to do that. I heard it in my headphones. It was like, ew, is that what you sound like? Fuck. Sorry, guys. Okay. Oh, man. What should we do? My what chest you... hurts, man. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I just did it again. It's because I'm laughing. I was saying how we were fucked up, but we should get more fucked up and smoke another bowl. Oh, yeah. Smarker burr. Smoker bear. Smoker bear. So I said, um, Papa. Sk- I said I Papa Squally the other day. Yeah. And uh, nobody knew what the fuck I was talking about. The people don't know what's up with the squallies. No, they don't know what a squally is, bro. Oh. That's you upsetting. Know, or a squam bomb. Squam bomb. Yeah. Squiggly squam bomb bambino. A scambino. Yeah. Yeah. No, squiggly they didn't squam know. Squam bomb bambino. They didn't know what it was, bro. That's they didn't upsetting. even know what a square was. What? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I said I can't be friends with you anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the end of it right there. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they stopped paving the road there. and yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, bud. Sorry, you're from out of town now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a tourist. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know why. One day it'll make sense why I do that. I'm trying to write the history of it after I've already made the reference, you know? like You're doing, you're doing what I do. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah. When we both do it, we both just make shit up until it makes sense. <laughs> like, I feel like I don't, I don't make it up as I go. Once I get that thought in my head, I just already have the whole story. I just have to get it out for you to actually understand where it goes. I'm giving you. So like, once I start fucking with you, once I once I get that first little like bit, I feel like it just goes off into this whole like story. I'm giving you skeptical eyes. I mean, you're not in my head. Or are you? I'm in... Side of me? (laughs) (laughs) I wish. Whoa! Don't talk to me like that. I just want to cut you open like a tauntaun. Okay, yeah, this sounds like you're trying to murder me. (laughs) For warmth. I feel like I just had a reverse (laughs) C-section. (laughs) <laughs> I'm gonna put a baby in you in the worst way. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. I'm, I'm sorry. Done, dude. We're gonna cut you <laughs> in the worst way. <laughs> I always think about uh. I think that's the f- most fucked up thing we've said. Is it the girl next door or the babysitter? Or I can't remember what the movie. I don't think it's the girl next door. That movie's extra fucked up. But there's it's the classic like. The calls coming from inside the house story. Yeah, I think I know which one you're talking about. There was a it was a remake of an older one. I think yeah, it was yeah. like 2008 or something. Had like a girl, and then it was like a really nice house. Yeah, and the parents were out, obviously. And she was just some stupid on her cell phone babysitter. The kid was playing like Nintendo all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were like, "Oh, it's gonna be super easy." Yeah, I think I know exactly what you're talking about. I think there was a few kids. I think it was three kids. I anyway, think I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, so I always think about the part where it stuck with me. The rest of that movie is kind of stupid, but there's like a part where like the killer gets on the phone with her after she finds out the call's coming from her inside the house. Oh, yeah. And uh, she's like, what do you want? And he's like, your blood all over me. <laughs> and I was like, kinky? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> that's all he could think to say. <laughs> like, he's a fucking psycho like, serial killer. And he's just like, your blood <laughs> all over me. <laughs> he pauses. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a kink for him. He paused because he was like, "You <laughs> had to think about where he wanted the blood." Y- yeah, not just that he wants the blood; he wants it all over. Yeah, him. he was like, "Do I want it like just on my face?" No, I want it all over me. Yeah, yeah. no, I want your blood. Where do I want? What do I? Do I want it? Where do we want it? Not, all over me. <laughs> Can I get a B? <laughs> now that. It, not a great movie, but that part always stuck out to me. Just because it was like, okay, guy. <laughs> uh, 
I'm I'm nervous because I'm by myself again. I'm just grinding up this weed. You guys know what I was thinking about the other day? No, they don't know what the fuck you were thinking about. You can barely hear Austin picking up on the mic there, but he's being mean to me. I was thinking about how mean Austin is to me all the time. I think I'm going to have to uh, reassess this relationship. I'm going to have to optimize or optimate our, 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 our relationship. Um, I think the best way for us, us to optimize our relationship... You said it wrong. The, the best way for us to optimize <laughs> our relationship is... Um, <laughs> Communication, yeah, you know that that that's gotta be the number one way is <laughs> for us to c- communicate with each other. That um, I think you're a piece of shit, and oh. um, yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah, you're you know I, I take in all that. I hear what you're <laughs> saying, and I I I think you're right on the point that the best way to octopus our <laughs> our um our relationship is to is to communicate. So uh, go fuck yourself as well. <laughs> Find a creative way to do it, though. I don't want you to just eat regular old, same old missionary, just boring Christian fuck yourself. I need you to get kinky with it. Dude, do you think that I do that boring Christian shit in the first place? Yeah, try again. That's a good point. Try again there, bud. Okay, well, go fuck yourself in a boring Christian way. Ugh, gross. Put one of those, like, uh... How dare you say that to me? What's the, what's the one? Mormons? Do they have the sheet? What? They fuck through. I think that's a myth, but that what? was like the running myth is where they have like a whole, or maybe it's Jews. I always feel a, weird a saying. I always feel weird saying Jews. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it was the Jews. <laughs> I don't mean anything by that. It's just uh, Hitler ruined everything. Um, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what were we talking about? I don't. I don't know the Jews. Oh yeah, you. Go fuck yourself. Oh, oh yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we were talking about. Speaking of Jews. Speaking of Jews. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> what, what, what are you by tradition? Because I know we're both, like, atheists, but what are you by, like, what would your family be? I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't remember, man. Okay. You do look Hitler youthish, so... Thanks. I'll take great offense to that, but okay. Cool. You know, whatever. You said you uh, In a cute way. You <laughs> In what way was Hitler cute at all? <laughs> or how do I make Hitler cute? You know the way when like he got frustrated <laughs> that little flip of hair he had. He's- your hair sometimes <laughs> when, you get, when you get angry it's cute nine, 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 nine. yeah like hitler <laughs> in a cute way i'm going to grow a hitler That's, mustache man i apologize for everything i've said <laughs> this is not how i really feel hey. these are not my views or beliefs in in my day-to-day life dude i'm just doing dude, it for the dude dude we're in the comedy subcategory, okay? <laughs> I questioned putting us in there when I set everything up. I was like, are we, are we, co- are, this is like just a, a talk show. I guess we're comedy? No, it was definitely, we had to put it as comedy so we could say this stuff and not get in trouble. It was that or I was going to put us in science and technology to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wouldn't it be great if we <laughs> never once talked about science or technology? <laughs> we're in that category. And then somehow, if we could get up in the charts on that category, if we could pull that off, that People would... People would be so confused. Like, how in the fuck did you guys get up here? I have learned absolutely nothing from you except for your drunken stories. And Wes sp- makes a bunch of mistakes on politics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um... Gets facts wrong constantly. Oh yeah, we're a science and given, technology podcast. You have you guys have given us no information at all. <laughs> okay, there is no facts given here. There's so many times when I've gone back editing and been like, "Oh, I'm so sorry to the people that listen to this." Because <laughs> I'm like, "That's clearly wrong. I should have Googled that before I said it." <laughs> I think they'll laugh at it. Yeah, I think some people get mad. Other people get it. They're like, "You can't remember everything off the top of your head all the time." So 
This but, isn't scripted. No, it's not scripted. And it's just stuff that we've like thought about during the week. It's not like we're researching. <laughs> I mean, no. a couple times we've dived a, a little deeper into topics because we're interested, but most of the time it's just us being stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Man, you know, <laughs> my wife was even saying that it's been uh, that she thinks about it all the time, but the um, the bully and the beast. Oh and, yeah. Yeah, like it still bothers us, like to this day. Why I still have the same exact questions from before has like, he not have they not done a follow-up on it i need to i need to do some looking into that to see yeah. if there's more info but honestly i should just listen to the podcast and see if they're still doing it because what do you do after that like how you keep going you've got to well yeah keep going keep but going. you've got to address Fuck other people, it right man well yeah well see, that's what i'm saying like did they do like a follow-up on it where he's like hey so this is why i do this and i've done it Somebody gave me the wrong information. That's the only way that I can think that he or he just never got any information. And he Bull. decided. I'm so I'm calling straight bullshit, man. Because somebody had to. Because you don't just think to naturally do that. I I feel like. Like I don't know, man. If nobody ever t- like, what if you had terrible parents that just figure it out for yourself? And he decided that's how. That's what toilet paper's for is to catch the poop. And to let it go like a. Like Cody said, like a bass <laughs> back into the water. I wish he had said that part louder because it was like, I want it. It's not going to get as much love. Bye, Katie. Bye. Have a good night. <laughs> it's not going to get as much love as it should. But yeah, Cody was fucking spot on with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> one of my wife's friends, one of our. Family members just uh, tried to walk out our front door and then ran back in because there was a bug. <laughs> it was furry. <laughs> Wait, how furry? Was it Wait. like a caterpillar or like? <laughs> he said it was flying. Oh, a moth. Okay, that makes more sense. Damn it, Austin. <laughs> People don't like that. <laughs> like, that's the biggest thing that people hate. Really? Yeah, is the nose sound or like um, somebody sick and kind of like the back of the throat noises and stuff. I can't do it because I'm not sick right now. <laughs> yeah, ew, God, yeah. I didn't even like that. <laughs> oh, stop, <laughs> dude. Mm-hmm. That's rough. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to my life. It's pretty fucking rough. Oh. Uh. What was I looking up? I was going to look up something. Or was I? I forget what we were talking about right before the bug incident happened. I don't know. Can you do me a favor? What's up? Hold my dick. <laughs> For why? I just want you to hold it. Like, uh... Like, sometimes you just need your fucking... Your dick to be held, man. I've got questions. My shit is, like, big. It's fucking heavy, man. Okay, well, you're trying to answer questions that I haven't asked yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I wasn't going to ask if it was big. Maybe that doesn't matter. We already know it's big, man. Remember the whole episode <laughs> talking about how... Well, that was Logan assuming that based on your personality and your body size that you have big dick energy, so therefore you have a big dick. So therefore It was never proven that you have dick. a big dick. I've got a big dick. You man. pushed back on it. I did, because I'm a humble person. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And that Humble was, people stay humble. That was the second time I had talked to him face-to-face, Okay. It was literally the second time, so I was like, "All the more reason be... to brag." No, no, no. You got to be somewhat humble, you know. But around you, I'm like, "No, fuck you. You have a small penis. I have a large penis." You've never seen mine. This is not. Did you just throw at me? It made it into the hood. That was it impressive. Did. It was. It was pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Plastic bags are hard to throw with any sort of accuracy, too. Well, because they're so fucking light. Well, I didn't need you to explain the physics to me. Put your headphones back on so I can insult you and you can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't have anything to back it up. <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> Our poor listeners, I apologize to you guys profusely. I like the way you said that. Profusely. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take a smoke break, guys. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love that noise. Me too. Wow. <laughs> hey, guys. Austin here. <laughs> it comes in so loud. I make it loud <laughs> on purpose. They need to hear those ads. You're like sitting there listening. And we're like talking like this. And we're like, yeah, everything's cool. And then it goes, wow. Hey, guys, Austin here. I'm like, whoa, holy shit. <laughs> I'm getting better at volume. I'm working on it. <coughs> I'm working on it. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Sabotaging you? <laughs> What's new? Oh. She sabotaged my whole life by making me marry her. She forced me to marry oh. her. <coughs> she just took a ring off and chucked it at my face. <laughs> just kidding, you guys. I love my wife. What? Did you hear something? <laughs> Did we say your name? Susan. Damn, baked as fuck now. Holy Ooh. shit. <laughs> Be careful over there. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that one was fucking deep, man. <laughs> I felt that one. Fuck. <laughs> if somebody could deep throat marijuana, that's what it would look like. Yeah, it's, I just deep throated marijuana. That's impressive. Yeah, you would be impressed. I mean that in the way of you're a normie, so like. Why are we, why are we always going to make it about that? Actually, I'm the one that's easily impressed, as as we found out. Trying to, why? I why am remember. I easily impressed? Yeah, I forget. <clears throat> Getting the banana. Oh, yeah, that's right. All you need is a banana. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know. I think it'd be really cool, like, if we start doing live shows or something, and I just... People just start gifting us like banana and banana flavored things. I I would not contest to that. You know what I mean? No, I wouldn't mind that either. Any um, like banana bread, banana paraphernalia, paraphernalia. If you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd enjoy that. I'm not a huge fan of banana. I like bananas, but not all that much. You can't say that, man. I mean, I'll eat a banana. It's not, like, my favorite. If we're going to start a banana (coughs) cult, man, you can't fucking... Yes. Okay, now we're starting in the right spot. Now we're starting in the right spot. Okay, we're back. I think this would be a Ah, great... We're back. We're back. Ah. Oh, geez. I'm so sorry. Okay. I think this would be a great time to tell people, I guess, who we are. Oh, did we not do that again? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did. And I don't remember doing it. I enjoy not doing it, so we could well, keep doing that. No, I think I think that people might want to know. This could be the first time that they've listened, you know, to us. If this is the first episode that they listen, but to. when it shows up, sometimes this is the first episode that you would look at. Well, yeah, you know, it depends on the podcast player. But like, yeah. if if you choose this one first and you've made it here. Congratulations, I guess. I don't know. I mean, yeah, you don't even know who we are. Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe Thank if, you you? Re- if you read the description, you'll know who we are. But do you know which one we are? Can you take a guess? I'm Austin. And I'm Poophead. Oh, f- dude. <laughs> 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 I think I've called you by your name a few times during the episode already. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. So we are <laughs> Blue Skies from the Basement. <laughs> and you are Austin. And I am Poophead. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're Wes. You know I don't like that. E- exactly. Yeah. That's my whole point. My wife's texting me about buying a camera and she's like, I know you're doing a podcast and everything, but like no rush needed in answering or anything. But like I really want this camera, so like you don't have to answer right now, but can I get this camera? <laughs> You're like, babe, I can still text you. Like, yeah. it's not that hard. Here's the fun part. I'm not going to text her back. <laughs> <laughs> she She'll said, leave her hanging. She said no rush, man. Yeah. I'm going to add the suspense, though. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's fucking funny. So, uh, yeah, welcome to Blues Guys from the Basement. If you have made it this far, congratulations, for sure. And thank you. And thank you. Thank you for your listen. I'm glad you're here with us. Yeah. So, uh, before we started, I gave you a rundown of things that I had to talk about. What do you wanna? What do you wanna start with? Let's just go in the same order you told me. I think they all like, you know. Okay. It'll it'll, it'll all kind of go together. So I started off with the Michael Jackson thing, right? Totally forget about everything that you told me. Oh, so you were just hoping <laughs> that I wouldn't ask and would just go with the first thing. Yeah. I remember now that you say. It. Oh, now okay. <laughs> I don't remember what the other two things are. What? I could get somebody way more professional to do this <laughs> with. <laughs> <laughs> you you probably should. No, I would never. <laughs> I love you too much. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> All right, yeah, so the first thing, uh there's been kind of a fun conspiracy. Well, you might not find it fun cuz it's about somebody who's dead, but there's a Michael Jackson conspiracy going around. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so uh there was a graduation. I think it was a college graduation ceremony of uh Michael Jackson's son. Uh, the one named Prince. Yeah. Yeah. Well, his name's Prince. His name's not the one named Prince. But you could also see Michael <laughs> Jackson doing something like that. Oh, his name is the one named Prince. And this is Blanket. And this is Blanket. <laughs> I wonder how Blank. I haven't checked up on Blanket in a while, but... That's a good question, man. I don't know how any of those kids are doing. Anyway, so uh, his son Prince was graduating. And there's a video clip that contains a voice in the background that conspiracy theorists believe is uh, Jackson's voice. Do you have the clip? I can find the clip. You could pull up the clip. Maybe. I could find the clip. Wh- whichever one of us you want to do it. Where would, you, where, where would I find it at? YouTube? Uh, just Michael Jackson voice conspiracy on YouTube. Yeah, so Michael Jackson's been dead since 2009, but people like constantly keep kind of like how people do Elvis. They'll just I Elvis sightings happen all the time, so I feel like the same thing's gonna happen with Michael Jackson, where people are like, "I saw him at the airport," or "I saw him at the movie theater." Um, if you go to the YouTube channel Believe, but the middle of the word is like capitalized, so that it's B lie V E, like so the word lie is in the middle of Believe. So. Believe, be live. Yeah, uh, it's a YouTube conspiracy channel where the clip was. Yeah, I'm getting like songs. Okay, I'll find it here in a minute. Let me um. Oh, the clip is captioned "Michael Jackson is alive," on the Believe channel. Anyway, so people are saying that you can hear Michael's voice at his son's graduation oh, in this I think clip. I found it. You found it? I think so. Okay. Yeah. If it doesn't pick up on mic, I mean, I'll put the clip in. Sebastian anyway. Oh. Oh, was it the high pitched voice in the back? <laughs> what? There he goes. There is Prince. There is Prince. <laughs> <laughs> you could hi- kind of hear it a couple times in the back. There was that one clear line. <laughs> he said we had a delay. Huh. Yeah, so that clip's from uh, last month. Uh, Discovery Channel released uh, Killing Michael Jackson. I guess it was like a series they did. Um, So people picked up inside that documentary, that clip. And they're like, oh, Michael Jackson's still alive. Yeah, sure. Okay, so it kind of ties into like his death and everything. So people think that Conrad Murray, who was like the um, pill doctor guy, the feel-good doctor guy that was yeah. doing Michael Jackson's stuff, and I was giving him propofol. Yeah. Um. And that's what killed him, was the uh, uh, the propofol. But people, the conspiracy theorists online think that because there was like 21 minutes or something before he reported anything once Michael once Jackson was dead, 
and uh, he like cleaned up the room and did stuff to the body before he even called the police. So people think that he swapped him with like a Jackson lookalike, and then just covered everything up, and maybe like did some weird DNA evidence shit that they would find, doctored some stuff. And they just passed that body as Michael Jackson as just some rando. And the 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 I weird. I mean, that's like the whole Tupac thing. Yeah. I mean. Or even like JFK. Yeah. Right? Like any or Elvis, anybody who's dead, there's always or. Yeah, there's always a conspiracy that they're still on some island somewhere living it up. But to like go to his son's graduation, when there's so many cameras and so many people filming, and you're supposedly dead. There's so many people there that you're like. How would people not notice you? Yeah, and maybe it was somebody in his family who had, like, a similar voice that he was related to. Maybe. It would make sense that they would be there. Yeah. I don't know, man. I I might want to listen to it one more time. Pretty crazy, though, right? (laughs) Yeah. Sebastian Ramsey. Emma Jane Hunger. Right here. James Henrik Sovereign. Brandon Gazama. Ryan Dinsdale. Ryan Ryan There he goes. There he goes. Yeah. No. Mm-mm. Ryan it kind of sounds like a higher pitched me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think that that's. Oh, we had a delay. We had a delay. We had a delay. Nah, it doesn't sound like it. I don't think that sounds like Michael. No, Michael. We 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 had a we had a delay. That's Let's, ignorant. Hold on, I'm gonna go. That's so ignorant. See if I can find like a. Uh... No, these airlines they're ignorant. We had a delay. No, that's ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're referencing South Park. Well, he also did talk like that. I mean, yeah. They, they they got it from an interview with him where he was like, no, that's ignorant. I'm trying to look up an interview. Oh, you're going to find, like, actual footage of him talking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If we can find, like, a more recent one closer to his death, too, that'd be better. Because, like... True. Anyway, so, uh... This documentary that people are getting the the clip from, um, it's all about how like Conrad Murdy Mur- Murdy <laughs> <laughs> Conrad Murderer. No, Conrad Murray is guilty of a second degree murder, not manslaughter, which that's what he served two years in prison for. So second degree murder would be a higher charge than manslaughter. Documentary is trying to uh shed light on that side of it. He waited 25 minutes to clean up the scene and make calls before calling the police. What? <laughs> what is this? Michael Jackson's extraordinary 1996 interrogation on abuse claim. Is he crying? No, he's laughing. Oh. Uh, Mr. Jackson, in the I feel like I should have seen this latter before. portion of 1993. There were some allegations leveled at you concerning improper conduct with some young boys. Uh, I assume you're familiar with the fact that those allegations were raised. Is that right? Yes. In fact, there was ultimately uh, at least two uh, grand jury inquiries into that that I am currently aware of, although counsel tells me there may have been a third. It is my understanding that some of Neverland Valley Ranch employees were subpoenaed to testify. <laughs> Just skipped the a more jury. detective talking. Yeah, they are so you know verbose. That the case as well? Yes. Are you He's just like smiling, a, like. A named oh Jordan man, Chandler. I can't. It's Austin's sitting opposite me, so I can't see what's going on. Let me just make sure my understanding is clear. I'm going to need to watch your this. position that you will instruct Mr. Jackson not to answer any questions that pertain to the issue of Jordan Chandler just laughing, in any way, whether it be time? yeah leveled by Jordy Chandler, if any, uh, or discovery in the Jordy Chandler case vis-a-vis Adrian McManus's deposition and allegations that she oh, uh, testified it's falsely. It's probably his lawyer talking. Go I mean, that makes sense, uh, but still. That's right. I think I believe that's correct. 
Yeah. With respect to the motivations that are that's exactly what's going on. To the allegations made in the complaint, my client has testified that he knows nothing about those matters yeah, that see, you want to his lawyer. Yeah. motivations on. So therefore, there's a lack of foundation. So it says, uh, do you know a person by the name of Macaulay Culkin? Yeah. Huh. Catch I, forgot. I always forget Culkin's up in this, too. Yeah. So you're going to let him answer questions about Macaulay Culkin? Let him answer that one. To your knowledge, were you ever accused of having sexually molested Macaulay? <sighs> That's an instruction not to answer on that one. What? So he's just, like, not answering. The way they handled them. <laughs> okay, now go back to the other clip. Okay, hold on. And the way they, they handled that exchange with that question the lawyer and when michael was like gassed and like started to answer the lawyer was like that's an instruction not to answer and like the fact that See, I don't know because it's a different situation. Yeah, you know, that's tough. Yeah, that is that one is kind of tough. The, the the detective video, I need to go find that because um, I or got you. maybe you we'll take a screenshot of your YouTube history once we're done because I need to put these clips in here anyway. I got you. I've been saving them. Okay, cool. I'm putting them on a clipboard. So dope. Um, that's perfect. Uh, anyway, but when the the line of questioning where they allowed the lawyer allowed them to ask the question about Macaulay Culkin and Macaulay Culkin's one of the alleged victims of Michael Jackson that to this day maintains his innocence that he never did anything to him. Yeah. So the fact that the the lawyer was like, yeah, you can ask about that one, but then the other ones he was like, no, 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 no. no. That kind of stands out. Yeah. You got a good point there. Um, so I was reading more about the, uh, what Conrad Murray did while we were watching those videos. He started cleaning up the mess that he had left and covering up the medical treatment that he was giving to uh, Michael. He put all that stuff away and then called for help from security and directed them to give a call to 911 while he gave ineffective one-handed CPR. That's after cleaning up and after putting all the treatment stuff that he was giving him away and hiding all that evidence. Fucking lightning bug in here, man. Oh. Cool. Lightning bugs are cool. I mean, they're cool, but not in my house. I mean, he's, he's a little friend. Maybe he wants to get high with us. You want to get high? Can lightning bugs? I mean, let's get a lightning bug high. <laughs> I think, I don't think they can get high. No, probably not. Probably not. Most insects breathe through holes in their body. What? Yeah, like spiders. The reason they, like, run real fast and then stop every, like, few inches is because, like, they run out of air. <laughs> so they have to, like, <laughs> stop and breathe through the holes in their body and then burst and run again. And if they have to, like, run from something, it, like, exhausts a lot of energy. It's, like, bad for them to run far distances. Huh. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good to know. Okay, so back to Michael Jackson raping kids. <laughs> or no, the conspiracy. That's what I mean. The conspiracy. His voice. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
So there, a bunch of people lately have say the that leaving Neverland documentary. Mm-hmm. There, there's been attacks against the two guys who like were alleging that Michael Jackson did anything to them, but they focus on two specific guys. In that documentary, um, and there's been like financial ties in their background that like people are saying that they might have benefited from this in certain ways. Uh, so there's people saying like Michael <clears throat> Jackson definitely raped a bunch of kids and then there's people saying like no those guys are bullshitters and it's like it's tough to tell which side is right at this point but it's always been tough with Michael Jackson like since the beginning of the controversy with him there's always been people on both sides of it so I think this conspiracy is kind of fun because it doesn't deal with any of that stuff it's just like he might be alive and he's at his son's graduation yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm skeptical on it. I think it's good to be skeptical on it because it leads me, your skepticism, to the next thing I want to talk about that I think is directly tied to this in kind of a weird way. Um, have you? I showed you before we started as well. Um, a deep fake video. Yes. That was on YouTube. And it was kind of a fun one. It was a cool YouTube channel called the the Corridor Crew who do like VFX and CGI stuff for, for fun and also for like production companies. They make YouTube videos explaining how it all works. And they had a body double of Tom Cruise and then deep fake using um, learning technology on like learning software on a computer. They were able to map Tom Cruise's face onto this guy's face perfect to the point where it's like, almost unrecognizable that they've done that and it looks just like tom cruise but as you and i were watching it we were like yeah there's some points where it's like it gives you a weird feeling where you're like that's not a real person yeah 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 but that technology is getting better and better and those were just some youtubers who have been doing stuff like that for a long time who were doing it for fun so a government or maybe a government tied agency might have the technology or the means to do this a lot better and i think we're heading it into an era where like conspiracy videos of like the michael jackson thing are going to be harder and harder to tell if it's even real to begin with because people can just make things like that yeah, but you can tell if it's um the video has been edited there's been what wa- there's ways to like immediately tell if you're like, making i like, don't know with these deep fakes because it's isn't it like in the coding yeah, I so think for, coding. like, the majority of the public, though, like... Oh, yeah. Especially the era we're living in now, where people in our government, not going to say who, <laughs> can just straight-up lie every day through their Twitter and through their press conferences. I mean, people are so influenced by what our politicians say. So if somebody even puts a video out there that's not even, like, them saying something, but... It looks like they are, and then all of a sudden, all these people are on this bandwagon just because it's that person. And they follow whatever they say. Yeah, the you Obama know? one we watched was pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, people can make videos where it's just the politician saying something dumb or funny, but I think there is like a reason to be worried that this is going to get better and better, and it's going to get to a point where even if you can look at the 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 underlying code of the video and be like, ah, somebody edited this. I think it's not going to matter for most people. They're just going to believe what they see because for a lot of people, seeing is believing. And then being like, oh, no, that wasn't edited. Yeah, and it's not even just this. I don't believe that it was edited. Right, and it's not even just this video software. There's audio software that goes with it, too, where if you have enough audio of somebody talking. Yeah, sounded like Tom Cruise. Yeah, so if you have enough recorded audio of somebody talking, you can make them say anything, and it's just machine learning. It's a bunch of complicated algorithms that a computer runs through over and over and over again over the audio or the video of the person, and it, it learns how to make a face or how to make that voice. I hope we get big enough that somebody does it with us. Like, uh, we go see a video and we're like, I know we didn't you say can that. Download a, a deep fake software program and make your own. There's comedians who have been doing it. Oh, like, well, you can look at like Tom Segura's Instagram page and people have like basically mapped his face onto other people's face. <laughs> and it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> and just made him say whatever. Like, no, uh, they put him on the try it out guy. Uh, yeah. The guy that's like, piss on me, beat me, try it out, men from jail, homeless, Latinos, black men, I don't care, come over, 
You get free rent and lease and a key. Just piss on me. <laughs> that guy. I think I know. Doesn't he like? His it's name on is... like a shitty phone. Yeah, Robert Paul Champagne. Yeah, I think you've told me about him before. I think I remember him. Yeah, yeah. I watch his Instagram live videos all the time. Yeah. Where he consistently drinks his own pee on camera. That's so crazy. He's got a decent hog on him, too. You got to get on the Instagram live, man. No. no. What no, if it's a I'm deep cool. fake and it's actually like cool. some like huge celebrity doing it? And they're just deep faking Robert Paul Champagne. Should we just deep fake our videos from the get? <laughs> Who do you want to be face swapped with? Who do you want to be? You could be any celebrity. Oh, let me think about it for a second. Come on, man. You ain't got somebody you want to be? Uh, or at least you want to look like? Not, or sound like? No, because I'm the shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like being me. So. Um, I'd swap with, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Um, Real specific there. Gilbert Gottfried. I can't do his voice. I wish I could. Everybody. <laughs> That's the worst <laughs> attempt at doing a Gilbert. It's so high-pitched and awful. I, that, <laughs> I wonder if I can do it. Gilbert Gottfried. But more high-pitched. And as I was walking, uh, nah, no, 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 you're doing. Yep, yep. It's the, only, it's the only thing I can do, man. <laughs> Shitty. <laughs> I'm always watching. Always. I'm not going to. I'm too tired for this. <laughs> I've been smoking cigarettes for 55 years. It's a long time to be smoking. I mean, I guess that's why she sounds like that. I mean, I guess I'm pointing out exactly what the character is and kind of ruining the whole thing. <sighs> anyway, um, deep fakes. Anybody can be anybody. You guys are learning from this podcast. Wes was trying to be serious and brought the whole thing down. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about. You make mm. uni unicorns look like donkey poop. That's a drastic, like, difference. Like, a unicorn's this, like, amazing thing that... And you make it seem like donkey poop. Donkey poop actually exists, as well as being donkey poop. <laughs> So, like, that's a big contrast. <laughs> Thank you for explaining this whole thing. If you haven't figured it out, Wes is a mansplainer. <laughs> <laughs> Feel bad for your wife. Feel bad for Wes. He has to live with it all the time. I don't escape me. I feel bad for me. I feel like good. Like, you, you should have to suffer yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's some past life I did the worst <laughs> thing, and now I just have to suffer with this <laughs> <laughs> whatever this is i'm stuck with forever good luck man oh thanks man i appreciate it <laughs> at least you talk nicer to me than people do their uh their alexas and their series i mean they don't keep those chained up but you talk nice to me literally earlier i was making dinner and i said okay google and then told it to set an alarm for 20 minutes and it didn't read or hear me the first time, which is always an issue. I feel like every time I say, okay, Google, and then I try and say something to it, it just automatically, like, shuts off. And it's like, I don't know. So, I finally got it to work. And it was like, oh, an alarm set for 9.15 p.m. And I was like, yeah, you fucking better, bitch. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I get it. I the... don't really talk nicely to my to my Siri or Google. I don't think most people do. No. I don't. I think it's funny to yell at my Alexa. Because it, it, what is it? I think it would be hilarious when they start talking back. That's what they. That's what Amazon and Google and companies like that need to do. Like they need to yeah. make their fucking smart devices witty and have comebacks when you talk bad to them. Dude, it listens to you all the time. What if it starts like? Oh, it starts pointing out flaws that you didn't even know you had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Figures you out. You wait till the last moment to do all of your laundry. <laughs> and then get frustrated that you have to do a shit ton of laundry at one time. Or it starts getting in between you and your wife. It's like, I saw her looking at Brad. <laughs> <laughs> She's been talking about Brad a lot lately when you're not home. I'm uh, hooked up to her text messages, too. I've been seeing those texts to Brad. She yeah. wants that big hog he's got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
What if um, it's <laughs> like it won't work for you if you're mean to it? <laughs> That's a South Park episode. Oh, really? Yeah, where oh. uh, they, the like country folk of South Park, they're like, they took our jobs. Uh, um, they're pissed off at like Amazon, so they they want the town to get rid of Alexas and Echoes and all that shit. So, uh, Stan or not Stan, Randy, is like, okay, so you guys need jobs. You could have this job where you be an Amazon oh, Echo. Yeah. <laughs> but then they start talking to them like they talk to the Echoes. They they just go stand in people's houses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's literally the person standing in their house. Yeah, one dude's got, like, a drum and a guitar, and, like, uh, he's got, like, a GPS and, like, a weather system attached to him so he can, like, check traffic and, <laughs> like, uh-uh. everything you would need to be an Echo. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, so then the main guy, I forget the country main guy, the dude in the plaid shirt and the red hair and the big fucking mustache. I don't remember his name. But uh, he starts protesting it and gets mad at uh, Randy for talking to him like you would talk to your your Google voice or whatever and just stops answering. He's like, I don't want to fucking look it up. Yeah, but it's <laughs> it's different when it's not a real human being. Like, is it? What do you mean? Is That's it? That's the philosophical question or like the morality question of like the era we're going into because this stuff's going to get smarter and smarter. And at what point? Do you start treating it like it's an actual entity and something that deserves respect? And when it starts responding back to me, I mean, they're getting pretty good. But then again, like, can you make it funny? Because I don't really mean it. Like the same way that me and Alexa's jokes suck. The me, okay, yeah. But after a while, like once it starts listening to the way that you talk, you know, like if it listens to the way that me and you talk. And how I'm just like fuck off, you know? Yeah, go eat a bag Alexa of dicks or ca- something. Calls me a poop head. I'm throwing it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> like that's it. You you learn too much. You're done. You I mean, know too much about me. I don't me. know. I think that'd be hilarious. <laughs> I think it'd be awesome. Like you could sit there and have a fight with your Alexa, but at the end of the day, she knows that you love her. I'm just yelling at her. Get out of my house. I don't <laughs> love you. I don't ever want to see you. Just go. Just just go. She just starts playing your favorite Pandora <laughs> station. She's like, I, you know you love me. <laughs> You're like, I do really like this song. <laughs> <laughs> I also got you a recipe for dinner tonight using all of the ingredients in your fridge. Because he's got one of the smart fridges, you know? That like, Yeah. It, yeah. The Amazon Prime drone brings a box of candles and yeah. some lube. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. That sounds like a good night. You never looked at an Echo Dot and been like, I could fuck that. Or the even the bigger one, the tower. <laughs> oh, Alexa. Yeah. You're so smooth around the outsides. I could just rub my <laughs> <laughs> my, my balls all over you all day. If only I had the time. I wish I was that Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to squeegee my Alexa with my balls. so this un study about (laughs) the way people talk about their alexas leading to sexism i don't think it's a thing man (laughs) and on that i want to fuck my alexa uh, oh (laughs) yeah see wes wants to fuck his alexa okay i think that's the majority of americans out there (laughs) what were you gonna say I have to pee. Okay, go pee. Go okay. Pee. I'm not going to hold you back. I can uh, read some of this article while you're in there. And I'll give you the cliff notes when you come back. You're a towel. I'm not a towel. I'm a rag, which is somehow better in my head. <laughs> anyway. So, the, yeah, the UN came out with a study where uh, they're talking about our voice-activated personal assistants like Alexa or Siri or Google Assistant. Uh, they're concluding that the way people talk to these or even the way that these devices are developed is reinforcing and spreading sexism. Um, all these devices are often, like, female voices. And, yeah, of course, there's a setting where you can change it to a male voice, but most people just go with the default. And the fact that feminine voice is the default kind of says a lot about 
our society, I think, and that's also what the study goes into. Um, they're saying that even like Microsoft Cortana, it helps per- perpetuate harmful gender stereotype that women are subservient and tolerate being treated poorly. So when they give them these female voices, we just kind of treat them like a secretary or an assistant. And then we go back to like that uh, Wolf of Wall Street or madman mentality of just do what I say, don't care about your feelings. Even though they are just devices, but it's allowing people an avenue where they can talk like that and there's no repercussions. So uh, these docile helpers are available at the touch of a button and with a blunt voice command, you can just ask it whatever you want. And if it doesn't give you what you want, you can just say, fuck you, bitch, to your Alexa. And it'll just be like, sorry, I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> I mean, but I talked to my wife before Alexis came out and talked to her that way anyways, so. Yeah, there was fuck you, bitch, flying around already? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. No, no, of course not. Well, no. you're Please exactly the type of person. I don't fucking do that. Now, don't backtrack it. You I said it. I, don't, you... I know, I know, but it was just a <laughs> joke. But I, I, that is one of those things where I feel like I have to backtrack on that. You know, I don't yeah. call my wife a bitch at all. Most of the time. Sometimes. A lot. All the time. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, basically this UN report is concluding that, like, uh, these virtual assistants, they have no holds or control or agency to do anything back to you. And because of that, people just talk to them however they want. Yeah. Kind of like how internet trolls feel no danger in what they're doing. They can say whatever they want without fear of repercussion. It's kind of like we've brought that into our daily lives by talking to these assistants like that. Yeah, but the assistant, does it feel like pain like we do when somebody, you know, says something like that to us? Maybe not right now, but I think at a certain point. You think Alexa will have feelings? Or will be able to understand feelings in a way that might be similar to the ability to, like... If you have such a deep understanding of what a concept is, what's to say, where's the line of like understanding a concept and being able to like feel a concept, you know? That's a good question. Like, at, you, at what like, point is something conscious? Like, and you not walk just, into your house and your Alexa can just like tell by the way that you're talking and like just, I don't know, maybe hearing the way that you're moving that you're upset and st- starts doing things that you like to help you feel better. Yeah, puts on a certain music station. Yeah. Gets the lighting set a certain way, turns the temperature to the exact temperature you need it to be. <laughs> Weirdest woman I've ever met in my entire life. I get nose all the time, too. Yeah? Yeah. At least I'm not the only one. Or she'll give me her forehead. I was like, I don't want that. <laughs> I want your mouth. Give me your mouth. Whoa. I'm on your mouth. <laughs> All over me. <laughs> giggity. giggity. Giggity, giggity, Man. I don't think that it's an issue. I don't I don't think it... it, it until, Not right now. Until she starts talking back to me, and she's like, I don't like that. I don't like the way that you talk to me. Yeah. And then I, I feel like I have free reign. Because I'm not going to talk to my wife that way. Or I'm not going to talk to some random lady that way. Yeah. Unless you give me premise to talk to you that way. Like, I'm not going to initially start talking to you that way. The same way that I did with Siri. When the moment that I set up Siri was like, you will call me this. And then Siri was like, okay, yada, yada, yada. I will now, you know, call yeah. you yada, yada, yada. And I was like, that's <laughs> what I thought, bitch. <laughs> I'm yada, 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 yeah. bitch. <laughs> You do what I tell you. <laughs> know your daddy's name. Yada, but it didn't yada, respond. Yada. Like, nothing happened. Did she not respond, though, because she's so heartbroken? But then again, even there's, like, there's been times where I'll say thank you. Like, I'm, like, setting alarm for 15 minutes. Setting alarm for 15 minutes. Thank you. I don't get a fucking response. Like, you're welcome. You know? Yeah, she just I goes thank fucking my Alexa silent. all the time, and I never get a you're never welcome. Never get a you're welcome. Why not? That's rude. Why not? I tell her she's a rude bitch, too. Like, do you say, hey, Alexa, you're a rude bitch? Yeah. And sometimes I'll go, hey, Alexa, Simon says, I'm a rude bitch. And then she'll go, Simon says, or no, 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 no. She doesn't say Simon says. She just goes, I'm a rude bitch. 
Because there's a you can <laughs> you can add a, that's cool. a, a fucking thing to it that you, Simon says it. That's cool. And sometimes I okay. So from my phone, I can leave like a an Alexa reminder from work and tell her Simon says I love you to Crystal. Or sometimes I'll just have it be like, hmm, what was the one I did most? <laughs> I tried to scare her and I was like, don't go to sleep. So so I sent her from work an Alexa message hoping she was in the living room or that it was loud enough for her to hear and Alexa would just turn on and go don't go to sleep (laughs) 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 did she hear anything all day about it no I never got it so I enjoyed the idea of it happening but it never it never I never got the satisfaction of it happening to her oh but I have gotten her with the, the I love you when she gets home I was trying to scare her at night and she was in bed no. Uh, yeah. Shitty. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set one for more recent, but I, I think these stories all together is what like because all of these stories by themselves are like mildly interesting. You're like, oh, Michael Jackson might still be alive, whatever. But all together taken as one, I find it like really interesting. And because you're right, it's not a problem now. None of this stuff is really a problem now. No, and the world's gonna end in 15 years anyway. So why do you care? Uh, if the world doesn't end, just Give me the benefit of the doubt here. No. Nope. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. no, no. Um, I, I just think it, it's a sign that the barriers are like the, the edges of society, everything that keeps us walled in to what we are right now, all that is being pen tested by this new technology where they're trying to poke holes and see where the weaknesses are in the structure of how we do things. So like talking shit to your, your Siri or your Alexa might not seem that bad right now, but 20 years in the future, it's going to be, it's leading, it's a type of behavior and a pattern that's leading to kind of given as a whole. Like, you're not going to know what's real. You're not going to know who said what, what, who said what. And everybody's going to talk to each other in a way that you would talk to something that you're not sure if it's really a person, you know? We're going to be in a future where you can't tell if somebody's genuinely saying, what they think or what they mean when it could just be a virtual recreation of a person or, or even like um you watch those prank you know videos on youtube of people that dress up and do the have all this shit all over their face and stuff make them change into a completely different person yeah like dress up like like a bodybuilder dresses up as an old dude and then goes to a, a weightlifting place in california Starts like doing all this crazy shit and everybody's freaking out because they think it's an old man. So like I I feel it in that sense too. Like even in your real life, like are you really Wes? <laughs> or are you just a man in a mask? I have to ask myself that every day. <laughs> <laughs> That's some deep shit, man. No, it's not. Yes, I just... it is. <laughs> I know it's deep. I'm pretty deep. You want to? You want to? You want to look and see? <laughs> I don't think I do. <laughs> I think it's too much for me, man. There's a lot going on down there. I know. There's a lot going on down there. I feel bad for your therapist. I feel bad for my taint. Yeah, I think we've established from the first <laughs> episode that your taint is not naturally happy with you. No. No. But how do we know that's real? Or Okay, so what I'm really saying is we're, we're heading into a future where we're not going to be able to trust each other's taints. I don't know. I think I'll always trust your taint, man. I'll always if trust the, your if taint, too. If there's one too. person's taint that I'm going to trust, it'd, it'd be you. My taint wouldn't yeah. lie to you. Yeah, I mean, same, man. You haven't steered me wrong. And if You your haven't taint... shit me wrong yet. So. <laughs> if your taint asked my taint for a favor, I'd it, it would say, taint a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, super serious topics, guys. Remember, this is not <laughs> scripted either, man. We just come up with this shit off the top of our heads. It like, wasn't that smart. That was good. Man. I like that one. <laughs> Taint a thing. I'm not proud of myself. I'm proud of you. Thank you. At least somebody is. Well, no. Okay, so I have a lot of people that are probably like, oh, he's doing all right. He's, I'm, I'm proud of him. But you're the only one that matters. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cheers to that, mate. Cheers. Yeah, my family's, like, freaking out on me right now. How come? Why come? Not, like... 
oh, we we have to talk about something after this, but not like in a bad way that like they're like coming at me. But they're like, I don't know. It's just a lot, a lot of family talking to us now, and being more involved in my family's life. I don't know. It's crazy. Hmm. We can move on from that. That'll happen when you have a pregnant wife. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so moving on, have we talked about if you type "why come" into into uh, Yahoo Answers that it's super funny, or it, uh, like Yahoo search engine or Bing? Bing's the best. If you type "why come" into Bing and then see what like the suggestions are, the autocomplete suggestions, it's really funny. Just "why come" space and then any letter. Choose a letter. <laughs> okay, so you said why. Like what? Like W H Y C O M E C O M E space pick a letter. Um H Y coma hyperglycemia Y core holes in brick Y combi hospital Y combi high school Y come chrome is not coming up. <laughs> <laughs> See, you just had to go a few down for somebody to be like genuinely asking a question. Why come Chrome not coming up? <laughs> it's my favorite thing in the world. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> not how come? Why come? No. I think you can do this with other search engines that do autocomplete, and it comes up. Google's not as good. Because they filter out the really dumb ones. Why comb hair? <laughs> Why comb hair? <laughs> Why? Why would you comb your hair? It's, all right, let me see. If, uh, <laughs> That's somebody really looking up. Why would you comb your what's hair? What's another? Uh, an... Why come the sun? Why come the... See what Why come there's no seatbelts on motorcycles? <laughs> <laughs> Because you know what you're getting into with a motorcycle. <laughs> you don't need them because you're just going to, it's like roller skating. You're going to strap yourself to those wheels? No, listen to this. When come up, when come the heart? <laughs> what? <laughs> when come? When come the heart? Like, when does it develop in the fetal stage? Like, I don't, when is the heart fully formed? I don't or? know. When come the heart is all it says. When is the heart from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, <laughs> the ship, when is that going to come here? <laughs> What are they talking about? <laughs> Listen to this one, man. <clears throat> <laughs> like, you have to get ready for this. There's No, the last three are good. When come the sound is short, but not short I. <laughs> <laughs> what could they when possibly come, be asking? When come the sound is short, but not short I. And then the next one is... Why come there are no Walmarts in a war zone? <laughs> I think for good reason, like <laughs> obvious reasons. Why, does, why isn't there a Starbucks in the middle of a war zone? Why does Calpurnia come to the courthouse? What is that referencing? I don't know. Is that Game of Thrones? <laughs> like Calpurnia. Why does the sun come up? <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta be like a five year old, right? Like, come on. Why come Roblox is not working? <laughs> I just love people using. About another five year old. I, I just love people using when come or like why come. <laughs> why come Roblox won't install on my computer? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, go to. Why the... come Rosenstein has not left the DOJ? Now, that's a good question, but not why come. <laughs> <laughs> why come Rosenstein? That's somebody who's like got a slight grasp on politics and they're trying to ask a smart question, but they're not quite all there. Uh, why commercial banking? Also, this is just people like shouting into the internet. Like, do you th do people think that Bing or Google is just going to be like, here's the answer to your question? Why come countries don't want democracy? Democracy. <laughs> <laughs> South America doesn't want any democracy. <laughs> doesn't want any of that old there democracy. 
I'm so sorry. It's, I'm um, so sorry. It's the spinoff show of Degrassi. <laughs> <laughs> Democracy. Uh, why core cabbage? What? Why core cabbage? Why core cabbage? Why core curriculum? Why core conditioning? Those two make more sense. I don't sense. know why this core keeps coming up. I don't know. Maybe it's trying to think of things that are like, because why come is so stupid. They're like, maybe you mean this. <laughs> <laughs> why come forward now forward? <laughs> why come Facebook locked me out of my account? <laughs> That's a perfect <laughs> example of like somebody just shouting into the internet. Just like, fix my problem. <laughs> why why come, come? Why come Facebook lock me out? Why come Facebook? Please no. Why come? Did you see the... the when come fireflies? <laughs> when come? <laughs> I don't know, man. Like <laughs> Why comfort food? <laughs> Why comfrey dog. solve? Why comfortable shoes? I feel like that, that one's kind of self-explanatory. Because they're comfortable, dumbass. Why come it snow? <laughs> Why come, though? Oh, 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 I like this one. Why come inside me? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've got a sixth grade health class to take you to. <laughs> <laughs> why come in Spanish? What is why come in Spanish? Mm. Um, K. Ooh, this is a good question. Why come I can't, cannot sleep more than three hours? I'm going to click on that one, actually. Why I need come? To find out. Trouble sleeping? Vix. Zequil. Like somebody legitimately answered that question, <laughs> didn't didn't point out the why no, come at all. No, it was it's just like an ad kind oh, of like okay having trouble sleep. This is like <laughs> Vix Seagull comes up shit. Somebody just very thoughtfully and like carefully being. Like, <laughs> so is why come one word or two words? Like two, two words. Two, okay, yeah, yeah. Because I originally typed it in as and then changed it to two. Yeah. Why come bees? Why come be evolve and not evolve? Why come back to a former job? <laughs> why come back to China after graduation? Okay, so these aren't quite the the type of why come because they're using come as a verb. Like why go back to the uh, U.S.? Why come back to school for later was better. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> worded weird. <laughs> yeah. It was weirded word. What come before <laughs> Pluto? <laughs> What come? What come before which? Um. What come before February? Let's go ahead and slow clap that one, yeah. All right, I'm done with these. I feel like January's got to be, like, the most known month. Cause I mean, the first you would one. fucking think so. Yeah. Out of months, like, what do you think? What's the first month that pops in your head when you go calendar? September. Hmm. September. Da, 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 Do da, you remember? In September the 20th. You know what we should do one day? Body, yeah. We <laughs> dance it in the wind. Body, yeah. Listen, I can get some, like, some, some audio, like, karaoke from, like, YouTube or something like that. We can just do like a karaoke song. Okay. That'd be fun. What would be a song you want to do? I don't know. I don't want to do it right now. Oh, you're going to do it right now. <coughs> do you have that script? Fuck, I keep forgetting the post. Yeah, because you're a fucking I keep piece of to shit. send it to my phone so I can... I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll and... Do it. Did you see... Um, We've talked about Chris D'Elia on, on, yeah. on the podcast before because the Eminem song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Logic, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you see uh, there was a clip of his podcast where um, 50 Cent's agent sent him like a text or something like out leaked and he misspelled 50 and he said Fofty. And the whole thing was like 50 wanted like his money or something and the guy's like, Fofty, please. <laughs> I think it was just a mistype. Yeah, no, it was. But think of 50 Cent as Fofty and tell me that's not funny. Fofty, please. Please, Fofty. 
Everybody just go watch that clip, because fucking Crystal Lee is hilarious. Don't shake your head at me. Fofty, please. No, I don't think it's funny. Go watch the clip. You go watch the fucking clip. Don't do it right now, because we're podcast. All right. I wasn't <laughs> fucking planning on it. It looked like you were doing it. No. I, I was just like moving the microphone closer to me, so I was more comfortable. Oh, is where I was that sitting. what you were fucking? Yes, it's what I was doing. I tried to slam my phone and down, did, no. and I just smacked a bunch of things. Yeah, I yeah. failed. And then I almost knocked my beer over just this now. This is what your life is. Yep. Mm-hmm. Dude, we really should start an ASMR. <laughs> Stop, no. <laughs> I could not listen to that. <laughs> really, I just snorted a whole bunch of cocaine. I just, like, I swallowed way too much snot just then, and I got more throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Is that that tool song? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Where it does that for like five yeah. minutes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a nice tone. Oh, you can just, the, it's warm. That's a warm tone. Do we, uh. <laughs> Susan hates that noise. Yeah. Wherever she's at, she's freaking out right now. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a really good one. Your eyes are really pretty right now. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> <laughs> now you're doing good over there. Oh, thanks, I like man. what you're doing. Yeah. Thanks. Your eyes are pretty. You're freaking me out, dude. <laughs> I feel like you're about to murder me. I like your eyes. Thanks. Pluck them out of your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I felt this was going. <laughs> You were like, your eyes are pretty. I was like, he wants to take my eyeballs out of my face. <laughs> no, I just I think the blue and the red contrast right now is it's doing. It's actually, it looks nice. Flip of the hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fucking God, dude. Your little Hitler flair. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> People are just going to picture me as Hitler. <laughs> no. He doesn't look a thing like Hitler. I I I look like what Hitler wanted to look like. Yeah, that's kind of what I was joking about earlier. And I didn't mean for you to take that in any way. I was just it was it was there, so I said it. I don't take anything you say anyway. Well, that that's kind of backhanded. <laughs> <laughs> Am I not important to you? <laughs> no, you are of the utmost importance. Okay, now I feel like you're going to steal my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to steal your soul, buddy. Oh. <laughs> That's a weird... <laughs> buddy, I'm going to steal your soul, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> you know, like, it feels too friendly <laughs> for the thing you said before. <laughs> you're like, I'm going to steal your soul. Buddy. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's technically, how are you, comma, now? Yeah, Question mark. You? How are you now? Yeah. So am I saying like, how are you now you can speak? Or how are you now in this moment? I think it's how you are right in this moment, right? Like That would make the most sense. But when, So why is the comma there? How are you, comma, now? Question mark. Because you're asking a question. Well, maybe you're asking, how are you now in this moment? Yeah, but is it, how are you now you can speak? No, because it's not like you're using walkie-talkies. I mean, you're like, over. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of over, you just say, now. How are, <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> Hold on, let me just, let's try it out. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do it. Well, no, because let's try it out now. <laughs> you got me fucked up now. <laughs> <laughs> See, that does feel weird now. This is so stupid now. <laughs> you can just keep going on forever now. <laughs> I mean, I really could. It's going to make me cry now. <laughs> I'm joking now. <laughs> I can't believe this now. Oh. <coughs> 
coughing now. Uh, I think we can stop this now. <laughs> <laughs> now? Now? <laughs> or later now? I don't even want to talk now. <laughs> Wait, you don't even want to talk now or you don't want to talk now now? <laughs> so, so technically, we've been saying everything wrong. Oh, fuck. Now. Well, none of my sentences has ended in now, now. I think some of mine did now. <laughs> okay, so that's why people say it over, because this is dumb. Like, it's too fucking fun. You wouldn't be able to have an actual conversation like that. I feel like it's like the super troopers, like the meow, yeah. but now. Yeah. Right, meow. Oh, fuck, dude. My throat hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust the word now anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you, like, when you like hear a word too much and you're like, <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> what is that word? It's a weird sound we make with our faces. <laughs> like a meat pipe that makes noise no. now. <laughs> yeah, just keep inhaling on mic. <laughs> I told you, people love it. I'm sure they do, man. <laughs> I literally, I, knew, I had to wipe tears off my face. Oh, I gotta pull myself together. <laughs> Are you okay now? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping now. <laughs> Was I helping before now? <laughs> oh fuck! <clears throat> All right. Ow! My throat hurts now. <laughs> <laughs> I just want the bit to end, but it won't end. <laughs> You actually need that word in sentences sometimes, <laughs> like right now. I really did not even <laughs> think about it at all. That was not... Whew, it took <sighs> me a second to get why you like started laughing. Dude. I was like, <laughs> I was like, damn it, dude. Damn it. Did, did, <laughs> game did, over, man. Game did, over. <laughs> <laughs> We're stuck in a loop and we can't get out. <laughs> Somebody save us. Seriously. <laughs> I need to go blow my nose, man. <laughs> now I'm doing it, too. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize to everybody. <laughs> I extendo armed over to Austin just so you guys can hear that. Hear that bleep because you don't want to hear what it was actually under the bleep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shit. I'm afraid to talk. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know what to say anymore because I feel like every word's a landmine that I'm <laughs> about to fucking step on. <laughs> oh, God. I'm watching every word. Like, <gasps> now? <laughs> okay. I'm going to get this picture of Michael Jackson off of my screen because it's <laughs> creeping me out. Yeah, that that interview was weird. I've never heard that before. I'm definitely interested, though. I'd like to hear more like interrogations like that, where yeah, hear what he had to say. Because even just that one part, I was like, oh, there's a whole side of this that I find highly suspect that I didn't even know about. Mm-hmm. I my jaw hurts. I'm like, my face hurts. It's laughing so hard. <laughs> that was a goofy, goofy. Goofy, I, I, I words. I don't. I can't. Am I having a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> Is the well, left half of my face okay? You look okay. okay. You look good. The one side's not like drooping down or yeah, anything, yeah. so you're all right. You look pretty good too. Hey, thanks, man. Yeah, your eyes. Are I feel like you're fucking, <laughs> dude. Stop, man. We're in a loop. You need to get out of here. <laughs> you're gonna fucking kill me. Is what you're gonna do? Chop my body up? Something? <laughs> Are you at least going to rape me, like, after you kill me? Oh, you're going to wish I raped you. 
Well, it's after I'm dead, so. No. You're assuming a lot. That you're going to do it after I'm dead? I just think that that's, like, more fucked up. I don't know. That is more. Who's or the guy? is it? Who was or the guy is who it chopped because... off his mother's head and then fucked the esophagus? What? Did you watch Mindhunter? Yeah. Uh, there was a part of that where he was interviewing one of the, the killers, and, like, that was part of his, his story. It was, like, he killed his mom. Was it Ed Kemper? I think it was. It was the big fat guy. Then, yeah, yeah, the big tall guy. It's, like, <laughs> one of the first guys he goes and talks to. Is she a big fat lady? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't talk like that. No, no. He's actually, like, pretty articulate. No. It's, it's creepy. It is really creepy. It's creepy as fuck. Yeah. So, no, I'm not going to do that. I get more satisfaction of just the the, t- the terror while you're alive. Heard. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, cause I like a lot of kinky shit. Well, I'm I'm just not like an after the matter type of guy. I'm like, like uh, I enjoy the the going out to dinner, and the wine and dine beforehand. That type of serial killer. So you want to take me out, get me all fat, so you can eat me? I mean, that's an option. I've always wanted to Hansel and Gretel somebody. I like that you're, like, versatile. You yeah. Know? I'm open to, to whatever opportunities lay before me. Heard. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We're definitely watching my back around you now. Well, I mean, I kind of I let loose the reason that you keep me chained up. I guess uh, I... So now we started this whole... I showed my, my hand. You, you, I don't you, have any cards left. You tried to get out. You tried you tried to get the people to help you get out. And, yeah. And really, there's a good reason why you're here. Yeah, not many people really helped me either, so I just... Yeah, it's because people don't care. Well, or or they've heard. <laughs> that the bird is aware. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I, was ha- I, was th- I snorted there because I was, like, having to physically hold myself back from saying, have you heard? <laughs> <laughs> Heard about that fucking lightning bug that's still over there. He's up in like the top corner. Oh. Yeah. He's just chilling. He's checking out your fridge corner. I'm gonna eat him like a frog. That would be amazing if you just nope. shot your tongue out. Do you remember those fucking crazy frog techno videos that were popular in like the early two thousands? And it's a crazy frog. Ring ding 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 ding. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that stupid frog. What's going on? On, on, on. Bing, bing, bing. You're enjoying it too much. Bing, bing. Bing, ding, 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 ding. Bing, ding, ding, bing, bing, bing. Yeah, I'm enjoying that way too much. You proud of yourself? I am. Yep. Yep. I'm not upset. This is my life, dude. I'm just disappointed. This is shit that plays in my head like on the regular. Like I hear that shit. Mine is the uh the Six Flags, the old game. <laughs> dude, I can rock out to that shit all day. <laughs> what if you found out that that guy did like subway styles, like fucking Jared's stuff? Wouldn't that ruin it for you? <laughs> Um, no. No. Yeah, I still eat at Subway, too. Because <laughs> it's not about Jared, man. Subway is not Oh, solely, it's all about Jared. It's not solely based around Jared, man. It's he just, went to Jared's. It's fucking Subway. You know the hot dogs are subs, man? They're sandwiches, bro. They're fucking sandwiches. Yeah. No. A hot dog's not a sandwich. Hot dog's a taco. <clears throat> a sandwich is two separate pieces of bread. Or no. Or no. This is a deep. sub is a taco. We this, talked about no, this. No, taco no, way, no, no, dude. No, taco because way. I looked it up, man. The fucking definition of a sandwich it can be two separate pieces of bread or one split roll. No. Yes. That's a pita. No, split roll. Which is a taco. A no, split roll is a taco. No, 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 because think about it like this. Like the rolls that you would get at like, you know, a restaurant or something. You know, if you just split that in half, it's just, they they make it the same way. It would be like if you just made that bread into if it the is length a of a hot dog. 
meat container. It's a fucking sandwich, it dude. Is, it is a when you get a when you get a subway sandwich meat container. When you get a subway sandwich, it is a taco. It is still <laughs> sometimes it is still. Just, Do you hear what I'm saying, bro? It is one piece. When you get a when you get a sub from no. Subway, it is one piece. Okay, it's Fuck not two you. pieces of bread, right? Yeah, they and cut it in half. It, it's a Subway sandwich, is what it is. Okay, it's a sub sandwich. Sub sandwich. Sandwich. It's a Subway sandwich, which is a taco. It's a submarine Unless sandwich. Unless you split it all it's the way. It's a submarine and sandwich. And then it's a sandwich. It's a submarine sandwich. There's different types of sandwiches. You're a fucking but sandwich, but, okay? Uh, but the hot dog is still a fucking sandwich, okay? No. Yes, it is. It's a taco. It's a sandwich. Dude, you're going against previous episode history. Like, we're laying down the, the, the foundations a, of what this fucking... podcast is, and you're breaking them apart, and we're not even fucking 15 episodes in yet. It's a sandwich and a taco. We, even ha- we haven't even had... Our one year anniversary, and you're tearing apart the foundations of this podcast. Subs are tacos, and you are blaspheming right now. I just, I'm thinking out the box, man. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking outside. No, you of don't the, get to use the I'm Taco thinking Bell outside of the burrito. Okay. No, 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 no. Nope, you don't get to I, appropriate the Taco Bell. What What are you even talking about? You no, think outside the bun. You didn't know about that. You don't have. You have no idea what that is. Nope. You've never heard "think outside the bun" before. Nope. You've never heard fourth meal before. I assume as well. Nope. You've never heard of Taco Tuesdays. Out, first of all, it's think outside the box. It's the it's bun. Their, it's their five dollar box. It's the bun. The bun. They started with the bun. They added the box later. The bun. It started around a the Taco bun. Bell. Yeah. What fucking bun do they have? Because they don't have buns. Think outside the bun. Well, that was stupid. Yeah. I'm glad they went to the box. Mm. Gripping the microphone like me now. You're still blaspheming. <laughs> <laughs> I will not stand for this in my banana church. Fuck, man. My banana church. You've been kicked out. I guess so. Fuck. Banana splits or tacos. Well, I guess since I'm... How dare you? <laughs> the fuck? Banana splits or tacos? No, they're it's fucking a banana not. taco. No, it's, it's a banana not. taco. No, it's it's a sloppy banana no. taco. No, it is not. It's so sloppy, though. No, it's not. It's just a fucking bananas. banana, man. Don't deface bananas like that. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you, but don't ever deface a banana like that. Oh, f- Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You <laughs> do... Don't don't look at me like that. <laughs> I don't know whether to be like scared or turned on. Okay, you don't stop. like my poker face? I don't. Okay. It's scary. <laughs> when you just go blank face on you. Now oh, that feels weird. I don't like doing that. Mm-hmm. It made me hurt on the inside. Can he blow it from here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. That's just what I said. <laughs> I didn't say what I meant, and I'm I didn't gonna give mean you what I said. No context to that at all. Come on, like it's your birthday. There you go. What'd Bitch. you wish for? Oh, I was supposed to wish for something. I said, like it's your birthday. Fuck. Have you been not wishing for things on your birthday, dude? Those come true. You've just wasted so many birthday wishes. I mean, what are you going to do with your life now, knowing that you just gave up all those chances? <clears throat> Buy a mediocre two-bedroom apartment, start a podcast, and work at a mediocre job for the rest of my life? Your apartment's not mediocre. Don't make it too real. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I don't know how to riff off of that. <laughs> I, I want to give you a hug now. <laughs> yeah, you're like any riffing off of that would just make your life seem more <laughs> shittier. And you're like, I'm not trying to do that. No, it's mediocre. I'm man. excited for what you've got going on. Oh, I mean, it's awesome. Like, it ain't the best thing though. It's not like I've got like. I mean, fuck! I've got a fucking. You're really upset about this lightning bug, bro? Because I just it's just there. 
Hold on, I'm gonna document the lightning bug. I just want to pull like a gun out and just start fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I feel just like you have bigger <laughs> problems than the lightning bug <laughs> if you do that. Just saying. Especially considering there's like kids that are like, they live upstairs. What should we name him? Or her? Uh. It's just Gregory. Male lightning bugs that light up, I think. Name him Gregory. Just because you don't like Greg's. Maybe. And I, and I don't what like What about you. like Sparky? Uh. That was the name of my dog. Oh, that's fucked up. I'm sorry. Up. How dare you? How dare you talk about Sparky? <laughs> okay, what about like Spot? <laughs> or Otis or No, our other dog's name was Isis. <laughs> what? I swear to God. Did do you not have that dog anymore because <coughs> the US government, the CIA launched a counterterrorism operation against your dog? No, Isis is um goddess. Well yeah. I remember what what but yeah. I do think that the government secretly killed my killed the dog like sooner. <laughs> Thank you. you. Know? Thank yeah. you. That's all I wanted. Why did fucking give you something? <laughs> shit? Uh, Jesus Christ, Wes! Everything's got to be conspiracy with you, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Duh! I don't trust anything. All right, man. It's fucking late, and I gotta be up early. Yeah, me too. I was waiting for you to say something. I'm I, like, is I, this over yet? I don't ever want it to end. <laughs> I don't ever want it to end. I just love. No, so I sitting could, here talking. I could sit here and talk all night. Yeah, me too. I could just keep bullshitting with you all night. Yeah. So. Fuck yeah. <laughs> There's got to be one time that we just do that. Like, we just stay oh, up all night. And Crystal do like a f- would kill me, but yeah, we're going to do it. No, we'll have to like, we'll we'll set up a day. We'll get the wives together and they can have a, a fun little time together. My wife doesn't like people. What are you talking about? <laughs> that was a joke, man. Neither does mine. <laughs> she doesn't go outside. What? Yeah, yeah. She's basically a demon spawn that stays in the dark all day. Yeah, but see, I can just bring my wife over there <coughs> and throw her into the dungeon while they we can, go out into the sunshine. Do whatever evil rituals they do when they're yeah. alone. Okay. And take our dolls and stab them and poke them. Our voodoo dolls. Is that why my ass has been hurting? Or is that just the beer and the food? Just the beard and food. Oh, okay. Maybe, I was thinking maybe I could blame it on something non-scientific mm. or medical. <laughs> like everybody else? Yeah. Like I, my asshole conspiracy. <laughs> it's the government. They uh, <laughs> they implanted radio uh, receivers in my asshole, and that's why I've been experiencing pain down there. And sometimes I can hear them talking to the aliens. And uh, I, I saw the men in black across the street the other day, I swear. They showed up in a black sedan. They weren't wearing black suits, but they there was two guys, and they were looking at me. Were you naked? How do you know? That's why they were staring at you. Oh. No, I'm pretty sure it was Bigfoot. No, they were staring <laughs> at you because you were naked. Bigfoot's what I call my dick. <laughs> I don't know. I just had to have a reason for throwing Bigfoot out there. I had to back that up somehow. I mean, I guess I'm intrigued now. It's better than Littlefoot from <laughs> Land Before Time. Like, now I feel like I, I want to see it. Like, I don't know. Andrew, <laughs> it, or Logan. I'm not showing you my cock on the podcast. Logan has seen <laughs> Andrews, man. So, That's not. I, mean, I Let me Do get they it. have a better relationship? Because of that, no. Just like, let me get it our, presentable. Would me, our would our relationship grow? Let me trim if it I up. Saw your penis. Wax it a few times. Get a get a spit shine on it. I mean, I don't know. I like a more natural look. I don't even like my wife to wear makeup, man. I'd rather her not wear makeup. I like the way that she looks without makeup. Okay, well, let me. Just I mean, I like and I understand why she likes to wear makeup, and I like it when she wears makeup. I think she looks, you know, good. But I, for me, I prefer the old natural. Okay. I feel like it's just doing too much, you know? You don't have to impress me anymore. I think that you're beautiful in your natural self, so you don't have to impress me. But it's not about me. Yeah. It's, yeah, me and her have had that conversation. Anyways. I can respect that. But, yeah. So. I feel like the comments on this episode are going to be, now kiss. (laughs) (laughs) 
There's some sexual tension here. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I like to ride the tension. I hate you. Because <laughs> for me, it's like real tension. For him, it's like I'm just fucking with him. No, this is a fun bit for me. I hate you. Yeah. Oh, there's some you, sexual though. tension. <laughs> You're my best friend. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> mm. Mm. Did you just splash it up into your face? <laughs> smooth. Real fucking smooth. <laughs> fucking hate when that happens. How did you... Oh it was so perfect. It was just... We both silently take a sip and I'm just over here wiping my face. Okay, let me see if I can do this. <clears throat> Don't forget to follow us on Facebook. <laughs> um, just search Blue Skies from the Basement on Facebook. You find our page, like it. You can send us an email on there. It's um, Blue Skies Podcast at gmail dot com. Um, you can call our voicemail and leave us a voicemail, and that phone number is six one four six zero zero. Two zero five six. You can also follow us on uh, Instagram um, at Blue Skies Pod. <sighs> we don't have a Twitter, do we? No, I'm gonna. I'll make one because I feel like that'll be fun to retweet stuff. I don't really want to put much stuff out except for like episode release information. But it'd be fun to like retweet fun jokes we find. I agree. Yeah, and uh, you can also hop on our Discord. Um, I mean, if you understand or know how Discord works, then there's like, there's no link I'm giving you right now, but it'll be in the episode description, so you can hop on there. Good luck. Yeah. Because even for me, di Discord's a little difficult. Oh, it's fun, though, once you get it figured out. Yeah. We, we, wanna, we wanna develop a community on there. We wanna see what you guys are thinking about. Yeah. What well, you want us to talk about. Hey, we might even jump on with some uh, some fans. Oh, yeah. and I mean, it's connected to Steam, so you guys want to game with us? Hey, I play Counter-Strike all the time. I'll play whatever you're into. I'll just download I mean, if there's a free game or whatever, or if you want to, like, share play with me or something, that'd be fun. And yeah. uh, we've got some future plans, speaking of gaming. We're going we're gonna to hop on some VR. We're going to hop on some PlayStation games. That's what I'm about right there. Yeah. So we'll have more content coming. Um, we've got some episodes in the chamber that I'm probably going to drop as bonuses. So guys, just if you if you want more of what we're doing, it's coming. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> Why come this podcast put out so much <laughs> shit recently? Why come this podcast... I don't Do so great. <laughs> Why come everybody love Austin and Wes... Why come Blue Skies from the Basement number one podcast? Why come we're doing this still? <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Every time I say queso, I think of, like, queso. Like oh, it's cheese. cheese. Yeah, yeah, but queso and just queso. I... Chips? It hurts. Did you see the... It hurts, no, man. We're ending the, the episode, but... Did you see the Drake thing when like the that basketball team? Won? I sports is not my thing. So like that this one, really weird. they threw the the hoop. The they made the ball through the hoop and they won a championship. And Drake was there in front row, row seats and they interviewed him like he mattered instead of any of the teammates. No way. And he was like, "Uh, I want the I want the chips, uh, and they need to bring the dip. I want the chips with the dip, and you got to bring the chips with the dip." Bro, hold on. No, no, no. Before we get this shit, I'm gonna find this. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna find this. I wanna listen. To I'm it. sure if you just type in Drake chips with the dip, it'll come up. I, people are gonna know like what podcast I listen to based on the things I've talked about. People are gonna be able to do detective work and be like, "Hey, they talked about this on that podcast, and that's where Wes is getting this information." But. God damn it, I have such horrible Wi-Fi. Absolutely terrible. Why come your Wi-Fi don't work? Absolutely terrible. Why come your Wi-Fi stupid? I, I don't know, man. Like it's six and six. Kyle Lowry with the ring. Why Leonard? The six and six. We want the chips. I want my 
chips with the dip. That's all I know. I don't want my chips playing. I don't want my chips with the dip. So bring them dips. That dynasty's over. We did what we had to do. Praying for, praying for KD. Praying for Big Poppy. So bring them dips. That's just like slang. You just don't know what the fuck it is, man. Nobody knows what the fuck it is, man. He caught himself in a moment where he was like, I'm just going to say some shit. And he said, I'm bringing the chip to the city. I bet, bet you he was like, I, I can just say whatever the fuck I want to. I, I, there's a moment where he goes, I'm bringing the chip to the city or whatever the fuck he says. And then you see on his face, he's like, oh, I got to go with the chip thing. <laughs> Fucking Drake, man. Oh, yeah, Drake. <laughs> I want the chips with the dip. I want the chips with the dip. I got some chip dip in there. I love chips with dip. Yeah? Yeah. Mm, I'd like a chip of your dip. You gotta have the dip, man. Dip, I dip, you dip. Dip, I dip, I dip, you dip. Mommy. I got the best dip. It's gross. I hate dip. Huh. All right, guys. We love you. <laughs> have fun. I think we plugged all our pluggables. You guys know where to find us. I think so. Well, you found us here now, so good job. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day, whatever you're doing, wherever you're at, listening to us. Rest of your night. I don't know. Go home, wank it, go to bed, wake up tomorrow, listen to another episode. Maybe listen to it again. Listen to it another time just because you think it's funny. Who knows? Do and... the fuck you want. I really don't care. Stick around after the outro music, because we usually put something fun there. See, why you gotta fucking tell people, man? Well, because I want them to hear it. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, stick around. Wes always does some cool shit. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Probably not. Because we talked about it so much, maybe we won't put anything there, just to make you go through the outro music, and then you'll think that there was something... Something will be there, but there really won't be anything. And then you feel kind of salty. But then every episode after that will definitely have something after the outro music. So if you're one of those people that's like, oh, they stopped doing this. And, then you know, you never, ever realized that there was shit after the outro music because you just cut it off. And if you didn't know there's shit after the outro music on the episode. uh, Fuck, I don't remember what the name of it is. There's a few episodes with extra shit at the end. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I I mean it's a lot for me to to uh to commit to for editing for everything after this episode to absolutely have something at the end, but it's diabolical and I love it. Is there something at the end of this episode? I don't know. You'll have to find out. It's like the credits at the end of a movie, man. And then like at the end of the credits is when they do something like special or whatever, and, like show you like scenes for the next movie or some shit. Yeah, but you gotta wait through all the credits. It's like literally at the end. And it sucks. It's like the blooper's blooper. Because you're like, is it over yet? Nope. Now they're talking about the makeup artist and the lighting artist and the sound engineer and the guy that was holding the other dude's dick. (laughs) That's a credit? Yes, it is. Oh. Yeah, his name is uh, Tim Wilkerson. He was number one. Yeah, because he held the number one. The number well. one dick in the game? Yeah. Wow. He yeah, that bald dude. You know what I'm talking about, man? And all the porns. He's like bald one. Yeah, he's like the bald Oh, the dude. big guy? Yeah. The big white guy? Yeah. With the facial hair? No, no. Doesn't have facial hair? No, he's just bald. I thought you were, I thought you were talking about the guy He's that, like usually a doctor or something like that. I thought you were talking about the teens love huge cocks guy. I no. forget his name. Or uh, what's the other... What's the other Pornhub channel? I don't know, man. Something, something, tiny teen. Extra, extra small teen. <laughs> we should let these people go. I'm so sorry for wasting your time going that far. We love you That's guys. That's not the type of porn I watch. I just know about it. <laughs> we love you guys. Only Have watch hardcore time. fisting. Be safe. <laughs> we love you. Thank you for supporting us. Later. Peace. Peace. <laughs>